Hey guys, Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one's from the 30th of January, 2022. I can't believe January's almost over. What the hell? Although by the time you're watching this, it's probably February, maybe even March. I'm kind of behind. Uh, <laughs> today was a transmog hunting day. Ah, uh, I hated it. I hated it. It's fine. Like the stream was great. We got some stuff. It was fun. Everyone had a great time poking fun at me and my experiences. Uh, but it was it was fine. I hope that you enjoyed the VOD as much as my viewers enjoyed watching it live. <laughs> um, and I'm going to see you next time in chat, won't I? Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Or you can jump over to twitch.tv forward slash fiyama forward slash schedule uh, to see all of my streams, uh, even the bonus February streams, uh, converted to your time zone, which is fantastic and wonderful. Uh, as I kind of banged on to, to stream, um, into the chat at the end of stream, uh, if you would like to know when I'm going live, best bet is to follow me on Twitch turn on notifications, follow me on Discord, turn on notification, follow me on Discord, join the Discord and uh, set notifications for the announcements channel. Follow me on Twitter and set uh, notifications and follow me on Instagram. Instagram is a particularly important one. I would love to get your follow for Instagram if you are willing to offer it. And you can turn on notifications just for my stories because I post a story uh, every time. I go live. I hope I see you around on all the different platforms real soon. Take care of yourself, be nice to each other, and enjoy the VOD. Hi. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. It is time. It is Sunday. We are going to do some transmog hunting. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm so like, oh, I'm mm, looking forward to some chillaxing. I hope you all are to, whoa, aha, uh -huh. not all of those are complete. Um, so we're placing two healers and getting five assists from healing. I feel like I could do that with one placement. Um, you know, two, two birds, one, one placement. We'll be fine. Good. I'm going to just check. I don't think... Any of them are complete. Oh no, 50 event tokens is nice. I didn't realize. Sweet. Um, is the door closed? Because I kind of want to turn the. No, it's not. It's fucking warm in here. There are some times when, like, my bedroom is much nicer than the lounge room. But there are a lot of the times where the lounge room, which I've been hanging out, I've been like hanging in the lounge room for most of the day, um, is much nicer than the bedroom because the bedroom is carpeted, small, um, has a fairly large window, Achoo! excuse me, uh, and has the PC, which of course generates a fair bit of heat. Um, there's also a lot of stuff in this room. There's not a whole lot of like open space. Whereas the lounge room, thank you, the lounge room's open plan, so it connects to the kitchen. There is, like, one end of the thing is doors, but there's also the balcony on the other side of that, rather than, like, the sun beating directly on the windows. And it's all tiled, um, which, like, obviously carpet is an insulator, so it keeps it kind of warm. So the, the lounge room quite often ends, and the lounge room's got much, much, much better airflow. Uh, so often the lounge room will be cooler than the bedroom so I think I want to turn the air conditioning on so that my makeup doesn't melt off my face because uh, <laughs> as wonderful a clip as that would likely make um I'm uh why does this keep defaulting to rarity I've had it set to level for forever why I'm so confused it's fine all right Make sure you place those units. Exclamation battle in chat if you miss the link. Uh, follow the link, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Um, cool. So we're doing transmog. Uh, we're doing AT dart today. Uh, all the dungeon and raid things. I jumped onto my uh, death knight because Cathedral of Eternal Night on DK was my lowest completion. But it turns out... It actually, I must have gotten a cloak or something that could be used by the, the DK as well. So that's now not the lowest anymore. Uh, lowest is uh, Alderman on a Hunter. So I want to check that that's actually the truth as well. 
Hold them in 9 of 27. Wait, what? Hunter unique mode. 9 of 27. Why does this say 7 of 30? Oh, the numbers are fucked. This... This says 821 in my spreadsheet, but it says 806 here. Every, every time I change a setting and then change it back again, the numbers are different. Every time. And I don't understand why. Like, so Molten Core was 31 out of 66. Now it's 37 out of 65. 32, 34 is right. 15. Nope, that's now 21, 44. The 21 is fine because I did some farming, but 44. Why has that changed? 14, 33. Ruins lost five items, apparently. 27, 72. 11, 25, 30, 62, so that's lost an item. 25, 40, 39, 58, so that's gained one. 5, 17, rather than 5, 20. 10, 31 is right, 10, 20 is right. 7, 9, 4, 14, 16, 33. 10, 13, 16, 26, 17, 26, 27, 39. 30, 48, 5, 8, 12, 23, 7, 30, so that's now 9, whoop, 9, 27, so that's definitely not going to be the lowest anymore. I just jumped 10% completion. 10, 16, and 12, 24. I just, I don't understand why they all keep changing. So that's like, frustration. But, you know, whatever. Um, right, so, Duke, well done on first. BC, congrats on second. Very also here. I will send you a DM in Discord once I've actually added it and done the thing. I have had approximately 12 seconds of spare time um, since last stream. Uh, <laughs> so it hasn't been done yet, but I, I, I absolutely will. Uh, ID When people DM me their, like details for a redemption i dm them back once it's been complete so you'll know so that you can be the first one to use it uh enjoy your lurk bear thank you so much doofus for your resub at tier two give me just a second let me let me do this by the sun well fantastic much appreciated and then quickly followed by wait for it by the sun well jack thank you also for your tier one sub, much appreciated and well done on Thurf, doofus. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of, um, like a lot of commands. A lot. Um, hello, Shopper. Good evening, Fairy. Hello, Bear. Hello, Dory. BK indeed. Uh, it's been resetting to rarity since the update the other day. Super annoying. Resetting to rarity. Oh, stream raiders. Yeah, it's a bit odd, hey. It's like, excuse me, wrong. Not only that, but I, oh no, I did. I updated the, never mind. I was going to say, I haven't closed it since Friday. I just left it running, but no, I have. I restarted it today because um, I updated it. Uh, yeah, it has. Oh, I know, right? Didn't realize there was a completionist add on. Literally getting this immediately. Good luck with that. It may or may not be the best choice you ever make. Like literally, it could be great it could also consume the entirety of your life. Yep, I do not assume any responsibility for this decision. Uh, <laughs> well done, Yori, on last. Hello, enjoy your lurk. I was standing in Gruul's Lair, my dungeon pop-out showed 9 of 21, Leo Main uh, showed 7 of 10. That can be due to difficulties and things like that, as well as zone drops and things, but what was at Gruul's Lair? Let me have a look at what mine looks like. Gruul's in BC, right? So mine says 6 of 9, and then it says 7 of 11. So a lot of that is because you've got like currency. So it'll count these as well. So seven, so what's that? Four, one, oh no, two. So there's actually like three drops, right? So so where is the where is the extra? Yeah, it's really. I think it's because that one has. See how it says two of four and then five of seven? So it's adding those together to make the eleven. But then over here in Gruul's Lair, you'll see that says two of three. 
because it doesn't count, even though it's currency, it doesn't expand out to what it's currency for. And same with Gruel, the currency one, the little diamond doesn't expand out to what it's currency for, whereas in the individual raid one, it does, which it, which counts, so it counts it for as both. Yeah, it's really, really frustrating. I don't like it at all, um, personally. Which is why I just take the numbers from here. I'll pop out the dungeon thing to have in there so I can see what I still need from each boss and what it can turn into and shit, but I, I, these are the numbers, the, the, overall window is what I pull my numbers into my spreadsheet for. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Shadow. Welcome on in. Ah, oh, the old caps lock thing. We've all done it. Don't stress. Don't stress. Azure Shell Krolusk, no. Give me just a second. Uh, appearances of each drop. Why does it always count the same way? I, I understand why it doesn't, but I don't like it. I understand why I still don't like it. Um, so now that I've updated Classic on my Hunter... Uh, it's now switched to a different one being the lowest. So what I might do is while I'm here, just double check the other expansions. So I don't have to fucking do this like continuously. So BC says 794. Obviously that's wrong. So we have seven of nine, 40 of 69. So that one can be updated. Six of nine, three of seven. 11 of 27, which so that's and then 15, 32, 13, 40, 31, 54, 17, 54, 12, 24, 17, 35, 31, 43, 15, 38, 15, 38, that dropped by three. Um, 12, 35, 14, 24. The numbers going up in the collected column makes total sense because if I grab a cloak on a different tune or something like that, the number across all the characters will go up. But the number of actual things that can be collected shouldn't change. So like slabs, for example, has gone up to 17 of 25 because we did slabs on the shaman last week. So that should that should have gone up. But um and the 25 stayed the same. That's how it should work. But the Architraz says 19 out of 30 in my spreadsheet, 19 out of 29 in game. So it's just kind of weird. Black Morass is 1426, 924, 2436, 1429, 1128, 1935, 1026, 16, 16, 32. So BC should now say 397, 790. I missed one. I missed one. Seven forty six three eleven fifteen thirteen thirty one seventeen twelve. Ah, that's thirteen of twenty four, not twelve. Okay, that's what I missed. Perfect. Right, the Lich King oh, has gone up by ten, but the other ones are equal. So that's good. <laughs> 52 out of 146. Oh, okay, I'm in the wrong window. That's why I couldn't type. Good. 52, 146, 171, 320, 28, 38, 18, Hit a Sauron should be 21. And that's it. That's even. Oh. Um, Kata is... Has gone down by two. And then up by... Down by one on the other side. Oh, fuck this. Shit. Okay, I'm switching to the warrior. The warrior says the lowest is Blood Furnace. Let's go update all of BC for my warrior. Uh... <laughs> Mm, uh, just checking. There's no way we can purchase Logitech G gear that you get a cut, is there? At the moment, no. Uh, I've been told that it, it is where something that they're working on is getting affiliate links. Uh, but as I am, as far as I am aware, it has not happened yet. Um, yeah. Uh, hello, friends. Hope everyone is well. You too, Zeran. I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back. Uh, did you achieve 50 duties? I did indeed! Uh, last weekend, actually, like a whole week ago, Handlebar. A whole week ago, but thank you very much. Um, Craig on Casimir, but no. 
Uh, that's awesome. Yes, it was very awesome. It was, uh, it was one hell of a moment. It was just, ah, uh, it was so good. So good. So, makeup, um, because we've had two guesses so far already. Uh, my, my mount makeup today, uh, I've got a few interesting colours. There's a whole bunch of colours on my lid that all kind of blend a bit together. Um, so I've got, there's a green in the inner corner that, um, is a hell of a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. It looks very, very different in the pan, but that's okay. So there's a green on the inside, then it's like an, a gold sort of colour, um, but it's kind of almost like an orangey gold. Think like a... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it really, but it's not like a, it's definitely not like a yellow gold. It's like an orange gold. Then there's like a reddy pinky color and then there's purple on the outside corners and in my crease and all that is uh, is white. Is white. Uh, white eyeshadow does not show up particularly well uh, on on skin of any color. Uh, obviously, it'll be a bit more visible um, the darker your skin is, uh, but it is still quite sheer getting like the only way to get white to be like solid and not be able to see your own skin tone through it is to use like paint uh basically so it's uh it is white uh the shade is called linen it's from the metal matte palette from kvd vegan beauty whatever the fuck they call themselves these days um but yeah it is white it's just a little hard to see all right so it reckons the blood furnace so Let's have a squeeze at BC. Um, the Blood Furnace. Blood Furnace is 8 of 34, which it is. So this is, it. And in fact, actually my, my lowest completion at the moment, as long as everything else... Oh, that number has changed significantly. Okay, uh, let me just update this while we're here. So that's 710, 37, 75... 5 of 10, not 3 of 10, 3 of 9, 12, 32, 15, 32, 13, 48, 33, 72, 18, 63, 12, 24, 21, 47, 35, 55, 18, 42, 15, 37, 14, 26, 15, 33, that's 15, 33, and more, another 15, 33, 16, 26, 8, 34, 28, 40, 14, 31, 13, 31, 23, 35, 8, 22, and 26. Oh, 26, 36 instead of 12, 36. Good Lord. I don't know what the hell happened. Oh, because underbog, that was what I did on, on the DK. That makes sense. Got all the plate. Yep. Brilliant. All right. Blood furnace. Jesus. Goddamn Christ. That's a lot of shit I don't have. We can't do time walking, but we'll start with heroic. Good lord. All right. Huh. 22. 23.52%. 23 Hopefully that means we're going to get a shitload of stuff. Because, like, come on, right? Come on. The blood. The bloof. Furnace. All righty. Let us skedaddle. Uh, hey, Jackie, as an extra vent, I'm super sick of getting wrong class drops in BC raids. So on Tuesday, we're having three more teeth pulled in preparation for my implant. Timeline moved up. I'll do almost anything to get out of pain. Oh, absolutely. For sure. I, I understand that. So, so, like, in my bones, matey. Um, well done. Fingers crossed everything goes, like, as smoothly as anticipated. That's awesome. Ashes of Allah. Nope. Mighty Caravan Brutusaur. Nope. So Ashes is like yellow and orange and pink. There is no green, no purple, no white. Uh, Mighty Caravan Brutosaur is literally green and cream. The rest of the colors do not exist. So everything that's on my face is also on the mount. Everything. All of it. Not just one of them or two of them. All of them. The whole mount, all the different colors get put on my face. That's how I do my... Uh... Speak, friend. That's how I do my mount makeup stuff. Uh, welcome back, Ventral. Uh, Ivory Cloud Serpent. Nope. Lothian Prowler. Nope. Arboreal Gulper. Nope. Hope all is well. Indeed, Jackie. Indeed. I've had a really, really good weekend. I am... I'm really fucking stressed. <laughs> really, really, really stressed. Um, because I've got, like, a lot of stuff I need to do 
in the space of like a day or two. Um, and I don't, it's not going to get done. Like it's not all going to get done. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can do instead of the whole task, just as much of it that can be done and to still like cover my ass sort of thing. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty stressed about all that kind of stuff, but I've had a really, really, really good weekend so far. So it's kind of hard to be upset or angry because I'm just, yeah, it's, it's going well. Yeah. Uh, flying on it must have been, oh, I don't think I mentioned that. I've owned the mount and it's a ground mount. It does not fly. Sorry, media. I absolutely missed that. I did not say that. So you're right. Thank you for, thank you for asking. <laughs> uh yeah i'll i'll be all right jackie it's just a um it's uh towards the end of a month everything just sort of piles up really really quickly and then i spend the first kind of week or so of the month just getting everything back under control uh, i need to figure out a way to not have it hit like sit in my lap all at the same time it just there's yeah it, it's problematic but that's look it is what it is and i'm trying to figure out how to make my life work so Heroic, the blood furnace. Let's do this. Squeakers, no. Sh uh, green shadow pen, riding tiger, no. Bless you, thank you. <laughs> Amber primordial diehorn, no. Wild dream runner, no. Good, yeah. Look, I, I, I will be okay. It just, yeah, it's, it sucks at the moment. <laughs> Go forth to victory. Hmm. Hopefully, I'll get there one day. But we will see. Please, aggro onto me. Let's go. At least this is one of the ones where this is ah is this this is the um, dungeon I was running when Fairy Modmother stopped by, isn't it? I recognise the exit pathway. The uh, the rep's gonna every time I kill anything, the rep is just gonna be like, Ugh! so that's great. Mmm, blue shadow pen riding tiger. Nope. Pretty sure. But yeah, how has everybody's weekend been? Who followed along to my stories yesterday and and saw the adventure? That I know I got a bunch of DMs and I am going to work my way through those um, as soon as I can. I just haven't had a chance yet. Uh, Red Shadow Pen Riding Tiger. Nope. Uh, stories on Instagram. Yep. Instagram stories. I don't think any other platform calls them stories. Onwards. I do like that I have the spinny. Makes the, it's it's kind of like uh, arcane explosion. It just everything falls over. It's nice. Uh, vicious war strider. Nope. Uh, armored Rosashi raptor. Nope. Miss them? Ah, oh, bugger. Yeah, they're usually they're only available for uh, 24 hours, so they'll be gone by now. But I can go back and like stick them in a highlight. I think I might do that because uh, it was so much fun. Oh my god. So much fun. All right, first boss. Stay away from us for you. Is that actually? No, it's not. That was a shared appearance. Three things he could have given me and he gave me zero. Good Lord. We're off to a phenomenal start, everyone. Phenomenal start. Um, Arcadian War Turtle, nope. I don't use Instagram a lot, so I missed it. Ah, oh, that's okay. If you don't, if you don't use it a lot, and you don't want to miss things that a particular person posts, be it me or, or any other influencer or whatever, you can set yourself to have notifications when a certain person posts, so that you will always see their posts and not have to like scroll through their feed, scroll through your feed and see them by chance, sort of thing. Uh, and then when you like tap the notification, it pulls you straight through to their page, which is really super handy. Um, I use that for a few different people for varying reasons. Uh, some things I just like to keep up to date on. 
uh, like certain games and stuff that I follow. Um, and then there are a couple of people that I also like to see what they're posting and when. Sunreaver Hawkstrider? Nope. Swift White Hawkstrider? Yes. Fairy's got it. That's the one. So can I get a number from you between 1 and 100, please? Let's make a highlight, though. Oh, we'll do. Yeah, it's it's kind of funky, hey? Uh, just to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, 13 for fairy. Alrighty, give me a second. Alrighty. Uh, I think that's you. Okay, let me just double check the profile is the same. Yep, profile picture is the same. There you go. Congratulations, you have won Forged a Battalion. I hope that wherever the key ends up, uh, the game is enjoyed. Well done. Well done. I hope to see critically acclaimed stream of the armor. I'm not critically acclaimed. <laughs> oh, good lord. Welcome back, Landa. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Or day, actually. I, it might still be Saturday for you. I'm not too sure. I'm bad at time zones. All right, Brogok, give me something I can actually use, please. Oh, good. One item crossed off. Renowit, what is that? 10 out of 34. Ten, oh, nope. I had numb lock on. 10 out of 34. So it's no longer the lowest, but I want to get it up a fair bit more because I don't want to have to come back here during the same goddamn stream <laughs> because I only got like one thing crossed off. So given that we're at we're sitting at like the 20 percent I'm I'm kind of like we'll see we'll see how long I go for um Congrats. Thank you. Man, of be critically acclaimed. You are internationally famous. Look, define famous. Like, there are there are quite a few people who know my stage name, which is a little bit scary, not gonna lie. But like, what is what is the definition of famous? Like, how many people have to know who you are? What, like, do, before you are, do you know what I mean? Like, where's the line? Where's the line? It's just Sunday, 90 minutes ago. Ah, oh, one. Fantastic. Well, I hope you're having a brilliant Sunday so far. Uh, relatively useful day, thanks. How are you feeling? Yeah, look, tired, but good. Um, I feel quite fulfilled. Might be working on a way to auto-update that spreadsheet. Jesus Christ. How, how though? Like, does it store, does ATT store the data for the numbers in your cache somewhere? Because I can imagine that that's literally the only way that you'd be able to do you it. You mustn't let him lose. Kill us all. Noises. Um, the only way you'd be able to do it is to pull from, like, oh, unless there's an additional add-on that you can get, like, that you can create that would write the ATT stuff to a file that your thing can then pull from. And you know what? I'm not even going to fucking question you, Jack, because you make the impossible seem, like, not, not only possible, but, like, totes easy. So just, you do you. Seriously, holy shit, you're amazing. Anyway. Uh, oh, another new one. So that's 12. 12 out of 34. All right, uh, no, go away. So um, I'm gonna jump into normal and I wanna see if we can't get a few more bits and pieces because that, that list of what I can still get is hella chunky. That is a huge list for a fucking dungeon that only has three bosses. That's ridiculous. So let's see if we can't get that list whittled down a bit. And because there are no world drops, we might actually we, we could finish the dungeon. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to be here all six hours. There we go. All the quests are done, at least. Uh, Dictionary says, known about by many people. So, many. Okay, that's a good start. What is the definition of many when it comes to, like, people? Because, I mean, I can imagine if you have many oranges, that could be, like, 12. <laughs> but, like, how many is many people? These days, WTF knows what the definition is. Yeah, true. Very true. 
Is she, she has a global bar. I can access. Ah, this may take a while though. Oh, the, good lord! The, like, take your goddamn time. Seriously, this is this is not like a high priority task or anything. So I'm guessing it writes to the global var like as like every time you log out, maybe. Is that how? I don't. I have no idea how um, like add-ons and shit work. I know how the API works. When you log out, it pushes. Like it pulls you. Like it grabs, goes to the goes to the internet, goes to the database, pulls your character. You do a fuckload of shit on your character, and then when you log out or when you disconnect or whatever. It pushes that, it pushes the updated version into the database to write over whatever you had there before. In very limited cases, that fucks up and it doesn't copy it over or and you lose all your progress or whatever, but it have it very, very rarely happens. But how does it work with add-ons? Is it the same thing? Like it writes when you log out, keeps everything super local and super transient, and then like saves it, hits the save button when you log out. Well, grads, thank you, Jackie. Uh, I said that you routinely have people here waiting for you to start streaming. That's famous. Aww. That's a really sweet way of thinking about it. Like, I, re I like that. I like that. I'm famous in my little corner of the internet. I.e. twitch.tv forward slash Like, <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, even if you're not famous, you're the start of a lot of- Aww. You guys, they're too sweet. I'm too sweet. Uh, if HTT stores stuff in a file, it could be grabbed and read to Excel directly. Yeah, that's- I think that's what, um, Jack is working on. Uh, it's just gonna take a while because you've gotta find where exactly each of the pieces of data are stored and then make it right to the correct cells. It, like, I can only imagine how long that would bloody take. Okay. We crossed one off. The maker has given us one out of three items. We've got two left to go there. Let's jump into Stream Raiders. Global VAR is basically its working memory when it's loaded in your client. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. Uh, from a cursory investigation, it stores a single file that tracks collected status for each individual item. Not really useful or easy to use for per class tune passing. Yeah, no, without redoing all their display logic. Ah, gross. Um, I have a GIF on the GIF services too. Oh, I've got a couple. There's a couple there. If you type in Fiyama, you should be able to find them. Um, but they're not, they're not, they're not even, like, they're not even at the top for Fiyama. Um, because the other gifts have been used more, obviously. So the more you use them, the higher up the rankings we go. I presume, it, I at least presume that's how that works. Um, but if you type in Fiyama, there should be a couple. There's like, there's, there's like the wiggle and then there's like a dancing one. And then there's me as Sylvanas as well. At least I think those are the three that are there. But yeah, they're all ta they're all tagged with Fiamma, so if you pull up if you type in Fiamma, you should get them. Um but I put them there myself. That or uh, like either I put them there or Rump or Finn. Uh like Royal Kiwi put them there. Like that's all yeah. Anyone anyone's able to do that. Um I currently have a button in my table data collector that says press to crash wow that is dumping info with <laughs> Press to crash, wow. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Because it does, doesn't it? It just locks you up for how many minutes? Like, <laughs> that's fantastic. I love that. I love that. Congratulations to Sleeper, Meaty, and Dory on all of your bonus shit. Well done. It's token chess time. Make sure you place your units. There is a link in chat now. Follow that link, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield so that we can. Away, you mindless parasites. My blood is my own. Oh, make third on, right. Um Is this heal? No, it's just a okay. Boost nearby ally damage. Saints should be able to heal. Right, I'm gonna place my saint then, because I think that will get me the assists from healing, maybe. We'll see. Ate! Oh, I just found Sylvanas one. Rump uploaded, yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, so too long. If you did a live stream from Sydney Opera House, you would need to do two nights to fit all your followers in. That counts as many people. However, 
However, close to half my followers have dropped by, hit the follow button, and then never been back across the six year period. So, I'd only be able to fill it once with people who have been like return. And even then people who return, okay, like a good number of them have only been back like once or twice. Do you know what I mean? Like actual regulars. Um, let me see. So a week's worth of streaming is what? 12, 24 hours. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Um, users. No, that's not it. I think it's under currency because that's where the hours get stored. Yeah. So if I sort by hours and then wait 12 minutes while it sorts. Nothing new from Brogok. Uh, and then sort again because it sorted it. There we go. Okay. So... I'm sitting at 683 hours at the moment. That's because that's how many hours I've streamed since the name change. 683, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5 to 6, 27, 20, 28, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 6, 8, 6, 9, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so there's 100 per page. The 100th person on the list has watched for 116 hours. So if I jump to page two, 48 at the bottom. So that's two weeks. So 200 people, 201 people since the name change have watched two full weeks of stream out of 8,417 followers. It's three, And that's at about, I'd say the 75. So about around about 375 people have watched one full week's worth of streams since the name change. And that's out of 683 hours worth. 24 hours out of 683. Math is fun. Math is interesting. Um, uh, so follow age will pull up your hours as well. But it's still just through the name change. So the same dress? Yeah, that's why I bought this dress, was so I could dress up as Sylvanas for- the that was for Shadowlands launch. And Jas dressed up as, uh, as Nathanos. I'm an irregular regular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to have you been a regular part of my life. A major blessing. Oh, thank you, Lando. Oh, I should also mention that a, a handful of those numbers are obviously bots, because um, the bot can't tell the difference. It, it can it removes itself from the list, um, but it can't tell that other bots are bots. Uh, I can't remember what figure is counting. I was counting down the list of usernames. Follow Ag. Yep. He'll kill us all. Who dares to 
Uh, I don't watch full streams. Go to bed before you finish each night, especially during DLS. Of course, of course. And that's this is this is me not in any way judging. Just trying to put into perspective that uh, although the page says I have eight thousand four hundred and seventeen followers, also that was that was actually a new appearance. Um, even though the page says I have eight thousand four hundred and seventeen followers, a very small proportion of those people are actually like here regularly. A lot of people just hit follow and then like don't come back, which is fine. Like no, no judgment. Um, but it's not a reliable, which is why um, sponsors and stuff don't give a flying fuck about your viewer, your, your follower numbers on Twitch. Um, follow numbers on, on things like Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that do matter because it's how many feeds you'll appear in. So that's, that's something different. Uh, but in terms of Twitch, it counts for Jack. It counts for absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, right? Uh, let me just let you know again how much I love you. Upload your VODs to YouTube makes me so happy. I'm a little bit behind on them at the moment, obviously because I didn't start until a bit later and I had to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it. Um, but now that they are going up, um, I've had a couple of nights where I've not been particularly well. And so I've like forgotten to boot up a render and I have to render overnight. If I try rendering during, it's a six hour video, right? So if I try to render that during the day, it takes approximately 12 to 16 hours. And you can't pause a render in the program I'm using. It is, you can cancel it or you can let it keep going. So if it's at like 80% done and I have to start stream, if I let it keep going, stream will continuously crash. I'll have encoding overload errors. I'll have like, it'll just be shit. Like there'll be a lot of dropped frames. The whole quality will just be absolutely trash. But if I stop the render, I lose 80% of the work. Like that 80% that work that it did. Um, so I don't bother rendering during the day. I set it to render overnight and by the time I wake up, it's usually at least close to done. Uh, and then I can just kind of, you know, do my other bits and pieces while it finishes off. Uh, I don't have a second PC to do rendering or anything like that. Uh, so I just kind of have to go with it. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit behind. I was hoping to get one up a day until I was caught up and then get them up like pretty soon after a stream was done. I do have to wait a minimum of 24 hours before I can upload the stuff anywhere else. That's part of my Twitch contract, um, like exclusivity. So if I finish a stream at 10 p.m., I cannot put that video anywhere until 10 p.m. the next day. Um, so that's why I've kind of like, if I upload them in a morning, I know it's been like the 24 hours plus some, especially if I've gone a bit over time, I can never remember exactly the time I finished and I don't want to play with that. Like, it's just not worth putting myself at risk. Uh, so they'll probably, when they do go up, they, they'll, they're going to be going up in mornings, um, just to cover my ass, but I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly how I plan to work it. We'll see. We'll see. Um, still kind of playing around with that one. But I'm glad you like it. I'm really, really glad you like it. Perhaps I stay away from you. Yay! I got everything. Both of the items that I needed from the maker have now dropped. Phenomenal. Oh, I'm so happy. That's good. All right, so I just need to finish off Brogok and Keladan now. Uh, also, Lurk is useful. Lurk is incredibly useful. To me as well as to you. Disadvantage in being 14 hours difference, of course, of course. Uh, so we should follow you on all our Instagram accounts, correct? You absolutely should. Help Fear become full-time, follow her on Instagram. And I'm not even, I'm not even bullshitting there. Like, that is literally how to help me be go, go full-time as a content creator. Follow me on Instagram. Um... Love to be able to look when I go to bed or work. I have to shut my laptop down when I'm not home. Because cats, of course, of course. And that's totally okay. I'm never going to begrudge anybody that at all. I get it, I do. Yeah, helps me with my anxiety. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. If you follow all the things, always worthwhile. Absolutely. Well, I think so. I think so. But yeah, Instagram in particular is a fantastic platform. It's kind of where most brands go for partnerships these days. So having a large following on Instagram will, you know how I keep, like one of the, one of the things I've said quite a bit is that um, 
I would love to go full time and I'd like to make proper income from from online stuff. Um, but I would much rather that money come from companies than from individuals who, you know, go to work and earn a limited amount of finances and all that kind of stuff. Uh, because vast majority of companies have a marketing budget and it's got to go somewhere. Why not to me? Um, so nothing from Brogok. Good. Wonderful. Uh, so the way to secure that marketing funding from these companies is it's by, it's by Instagram. Uh, I'm still heavily partaking in GGWP. Um, they've released a premium version of their, their services um, that you can pay via monthly, three monthly, or I say three monthly or six monthly. I don't think they offer an annual. I don't remember exactly. It's been a little while, but um, I signed up for that because like I've been with them since pretty much almost day dot and it's just, it's been phenomenal. Um, in fact, the, the photo shoot that we did the other day was for a GGWP campaign. Um, so I'm really happy to launch that stuff. That's on my, to that's on my extremely urgent to-do list. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, so yeah, they, they have, um, I think it's quietened down a bit over the holidays. Not, uh, they didn't have a whole lot of new, uh, campaigns over the, the holiday period, but now that everyone's kind of kicked back into it, we're at the end of January. Uh, I'm sure that since they came back to work, they've been working on a bunch of things with, with different companies. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to team up with them for a few bits and pieces here and there. Uh, but we'll see. Nothing from Keladan. Nothing from Keladan. Um, but yeah, and so those are all kind of, you know, working with companies and getting myself, getting myself noticed, building up my portfolio of stuff that I have done for companies and stuff. This is all, hopefully, things that'll uh, help me kind of get ahead in this particular area of my career. Double floor activated. Yes, cats are cute, fluffy butthead, buttheads. They are. They are cute, floofy buttheads. Rogue Dog has been a real tight ass about the loop the last couple weeks. Oh no, I did get one thing earlier, but um, not that round. But that's okay, I got two from the first boss. I feel like I spent my luck for that run. Photo shoot, was that the adventure? No, no, this was like last week uh, on like a Sunday morning. So like a full week ago now, we, um, Jas and I, um, I received a few bits and pieces in the mail and did a photo shoot in order to promote said bits and pieces. Um, so I've got to start popping them up on the social medias and I have to, uh, there are a couple of things I need to do on stream as well. Um, but I want to have everything, all my ducks lined up before I start like rapid firing them off. Gecko car insurance. I don't have a car. I don't have a driver's license, let alone a car. You know I'm not the kind of person to sign up to promote shit I can't use. Okay, wow, well, enjoy Jackie. Enjoy your session. Okay, I don't need anything from you anymore. Of course I get plate and a mace that I can both of which I can use, so that means I'm not gonna get anything from the rest of the dungeon. Good. I'm aware that that's not how that works, but it certainly feels like that's how that works. Any good luck, thank you. Fingers crossed, eh? See if I can, like, if these guys are gonna leash. No, but they stun. Okay. Alright, looks like they don't leash. That's good.
I'm also not getting rep from them anymore, so I must have hit the, the cap for dungeon trash. I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to hide from the casters in this room. So I can't, but I can get them fairly close. So that's good. Look at my app now. 20 out of 34. That is a vast improvement. I'd still like it to be high. I'd like to finish the dungeon, but that's a vast improvement. <laughs> Not... Too shabby. <laughs> Did you guys say I got two mounts? Two mounts this week. I feel like I'm in trouble for it, but also... I don't think you wanted me to farm these ones on stream. Yay! That is a new one. Fantastic. 22 out of 34. Phenomenal. I feel like that technique will take seven years to get. It also requires... Requires Legion Inscription, but it drops from a BC... Okay. I don't have Legion Inscription though, so I don't think it can drop. Is that, am I right? Will, like, if... Although, no, because I had that technique drop from Kara and that couldn't, I can't, I can't use that because it needs Legion, so maybe not. <clears throat> maybe that's not the case at all. <clears throat> and these are all casters, so none of them are gonna. No, I don't. No. <laughs> these are all casters, so they're not gonna come to me outside of that distance, anyway. Not that they need to, because they don't drop loot. What is this? What have you done? You're Nothing from Keladan. Nothing from Keladan. This feels like stealing when two or more rare mounts drop. I know, right? So I got one from Mechanicos from my Ember Court. Um, and I might have, I think, look, maybe Rarity took a screenshot. But I know I have to disable a bunch of add-ons when I do Ember Quartz and I don't remember, I can't remember the life of me, which ones I disable. So I'll have to double check if there's actually a screenshot or not. Um, but I don't remember it printing. And I don't think it's actually in, I don't think it's one of the ones that's even tracked by Rarity. And if it's not tracked by Rarity, it won't tell you. Like it won't. Um... Which one is the one that drops from... The Countess. Malbog, Corthia, Fallen Charge, Death's Advance, Reliwick, Harvester's War Chest, Harika, Uzi Nekere Egg, War Chest, Uzi Nekere Egg, Kyrian Bastion, then Theory of Just Ah, Silesa, is that the one that comes from I think that the, that's the one that comes from the mirrors, Silesa, not from the Countess in Ember Court. Yeah, the Ember Court one isn't listed here. And it's definitely not because that whole thing is a single a singular 
like a single player thing. Crusher. Mistake and Belfair. Yeah, I don't actually think that one was tracked by Rarity, so I don't think it's going to give me a screenshot for it. Um, but it certainly took a screenshot when Ishak dropped his mount. I it it shocked me. I actually jumped when I saw when I when I saw the the thing come up. I was like, what the fuck? Thirty three attempts for a one percent drop rate mount. I'm pretty fucking happy with that. One percent drop chance. One in a hundred, and it took me thirty three. Like. Can't complain about that. So yeah, I had Mechanicos's one drop from his cache in, uh, what's it called? In the Ember Court. Uh, and it's the first time I've done an Ember Court with him since becoming best friends with him. Like, I actually had to go out and complete his, like, you know, mini, like, just accept it and turn it straight back in for his permanent invitation. Like, I, that's how I know it was the first time he'd come since I made best friend. Uh, and the last mount I need from there is from the Countess. And last time I invited her, she hit best friend. So I'm kind of feeling like maybe next time I invite her, she'll, like, I'll get her mount, maybe? I'm not sure if that's how that works, though. Um... But yeah, very excited about that. And then yeah, I've been like every time I'm doing something that doesn't require me to be playing WoW, um, like, you know, doing socials and, and tidying up and all that kind of stuff, I'll just plant myself in Uldum at Ishak's Tower. And because uh, it's a three hour respawn, three hours for him to respawn every time. Uh, and so, like, yeah, it sucked. But I've been doing that for, for a few weeks. Uh, and then, yeah, 33rd attempt. Bam! So it's, what, 99 hours worth of camping? Roughly? Not quite, but close to it. So, um... Yeah. If you're keen for that one, highly recommend getting on it. Just plant your tune there and go do other shit. Yeah, it was uh, quite surprising, and I'm very happy about that. I still have a bunch of a bunch of mounts on the AFK farming list. You know, stuff I can camp while I'm doing other things, just to try to get some attempts in. But um, one down. Multitudes to go. Felt lucky finishing Corthia drops. Ah, oh, fantastic! Congratulations, that's huge. There are so many mounts in Corthia. Um, I only have Corthia unlocked on my Venthyr tune, like just one character on my main, so I can't go and farm. The other three covenants um but i'll get there eventually i'll get there eventually i have plenty of other shit from like older content that i can camp until then get through the last three hours i'm meeting super dupers fuck yes fuck yes this is the way indeed indeed So for now, my uh, my AFK farming for, for mounts, every day I check to see if uh, the Waste Wander Marauder, I think is what it's called, can drop. It's Rot Feaster is the NPC, um, but it's only up like for half the week every two weeks because uh, it's one of the rarer, one of the invasions that isn't one of the really big ones. It's like a minor invasion, so it's only up for three or four days every two weeks, I think. Um, but that one's on like a half hour respawn timer and there's a ton of people that camp it every time it comes up whereas Ishak I was usually sitting there alone um, so that'll be fun when that pops back up but uh, if that's not up what's let me just check let me open up my thingamajig 
Oh, hello. I was not expecting you to pop up on this screen. Uh, Harley. Shit. Okay, so Harley is another one that's like only up every so often. And I'm pretty sure that Rot Feaster and Harley are up at the same time. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, that's so annoying. But after Harley, the Rajani War Serpent, Ren Stalwart Hound, and Jin Lao, which are all, like, all three, all four of the, the Veil ones are all up at the same time. And if one of them's not up, the rest of them aren't up, which is very annoying. Uh, but it does mean that when they're up, I can work my way through that list. And then when they're not up, I can work my way through the rest of the list. Um, but after all of that is the Junk Heap Drifter. Uh, so hopefully I'll get that to drop next. Uh, does all of the things have achievements counted on it? Yes. Good afternoon, Draz. How are you going? Hope you're doing well. But yes, uh, all the things tracks literally all the things. Literally all the things. If you have to ask the question, or if you go to ask the question, does it track X? The answer is yes. Anything that is able to be, like, got in Azeroth, it, it tracks it. Everything. That's why it's called all the things rather than most of the things or some of the things. My bags are full. Good. Um, let's delete you and grab that. The rest of it can just sit for a second. Uh, I don't know what is worse, gathering the wrong class drop and getting the right one you already have. When you only have one of six. Yeah. I think, look, I think both are as bad as each other. Like, not getting what you want just kind of sucks. What is this? What have you done? So let's drop that and get this one. Let me drop that and get this one. Neither of which I need, but that's okay. So we're going to zone out and I'm going to empty my fucking bags. <laughs> Oops. Enjoy your lurk, mints. A couple of the things. Just some of them, you know, several of the things, a handful of the things, a bunch of the things. Hydrate, eh? Have you done the five mask mount achievement? It's pretty easy to do these days. Five mask mount. What? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Ah, uh, how are you going today? How's ATT going? Look, so far so good. So far, so good. We've gotten a couple things. I'm trying to, I want to see if I can polish off this dungeon before we like move on, but we'll, we'll see if I get like incredibly bored or not. We'll see how we go. Ah, uh, the visions thing. Oh yeah, no, we did that when it was current. That's literally like over a year old at this point. Sorry. Yeah. If it's, if it's older than like a couple months, you're going to have to give me more context than just five mask mount achievement. Uh, cause my brain is a colander. I can't retain information that no longer matters to me. Um, <laughs> sorry, it, <laughs> it, I know that's a really blunt way to put it, but I just, it, my brain doesn't work like that. Um, so I often need more context, um, to be able to actually answer you properly. Um, yeah, once my brain decides that something doesn't matter, ooh. That's currency for a pet. I'm gonna hold on to that then. Thank you. Look, it didn't it didn't sell it as a grey. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. It actually knew what the fuck it was doing. Many, many wares. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do Steam Rager, Stream Raiders. And I'm gonna clean up my bags. And I'm going to reset all instances. Uh, well, Wonderful. Ah, uh, it's all good. Thank you for understanding. I appreciate that deeply. Yeah, my brain's a dick. <laughs> like, it's just not very nice. It's not kind in the slightest. All right. Um. I have a couple of hydrates. Let's do those. Oh, 
Oh god. Water, water everywhere. Another hydrate. Yeah. Hydrated my fucking lap. Because the water went everywhere. It's fine. Um. Yay! Tokens for Fia! Tokens for everyone! Congratulations to Arrested Fairy and Draz on all your bonus shit. And we're heading towards that skin chest. See if we can't get a few people some last couple skins that they need from the event. Okay, place two healers! I'm gonna place one of them. Here. Oh, okie dokie. We're still at 22 or 34. We are. I feel like the imps will chase me once I get out of range, and then I can like hi hide out around a corner somewhere. Quite well. Oh, the shinies. Smacking them all down with one hit is like so satisfying. <sighs> the maker. Don't need anything from him. Now we go extract a technique from Brogok. Hopefully. We'll see how he does. You believe your pathetic sorcery can hold me? Warlocks to catch up with us. And then we Feels good, man. Feels good. So many casters in here. Falling asleep. Not a problem at all. No need to apologize. I hope you have a wonderful rest. Get up for watch time. Thank you. I appreciate the look. Rest well, yeah. We'll see you next time.
All right. Let's see how this goes. My hair is being a butt. Keeps falling out of the scrunchies. There we go. That should hold. <sighs> I got the glyph. I got the technique. I can't use it though. <laughs> I can't use it so it won't cross off. I need to go learn Legion Inscription. Maybe I should do that after this. So I can learn the two that I've got in my bags. Cause that'll cross another thing off. Although I'm not even sure if that one counts on this checklist. It might not. I don't know. In fact, there's a way I can check, isn't there? It does count. Okay. Okay. Crusader, so many memories. Hello, Elk. How are you going? I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Ooh, a stretch. I can do that. Give me just a second. My shoulder's been really sore lately, so I think a stretch will do them good. Mm. Thank ya. Thank you for reminding me to take care of my fucking body, because it don't take care of me. <laughs> Much appreciated. Ah, Trud with the resub. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. I hope you're having a lovely day. Rockstar, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Very, very well. Uh, tired, but when the fuck will that be? Like, like that's just a thing, you know? How about you? How are you going, Trud? Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Are your legs feeling better? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're no you longer um, exercise pained at all. I just, I haven't had time to exercise, actually. Um, during the week, at least, I can make time to exercise, but uh, over, like, this weekend, I just have, there's not been any time. However, um, our adventure yesterday absolutely involved a whole ton of walking. Um, so I'm counting that as exercise done. We walked around, we walked around, like, all over the place. So I reckon that's, uh, that counts. That counts. You meant tambourine track. Love that place. I'd never been. I'd never been. I had an absolute blast. It was really cool. So the company's called Amazing Co. Uh, and my mum gifted me the adventure um, for my birthday. Not my birthday. For Christmas. Uh, and basically, uh, there's a whole bunch of different places that you can choose from. They've got it. Like, they've got a whole bunch. Like, in Brisbane, there are seven different locations you can choose from. I think it was seven. But they had, like, three more in the works. But we wanted to book it, like, sooner rather than later. So we, we didn't want to wait for those to become available. Um, but, yeah, so uh, Tambourine Mountain was one of them. And uh, so we, we went out there. And they email you a clue. Um, like the day before. So I got that clue. I think it was on actually on Thursday that we got the first clue uh, that I posted on my stories. And then like each time you go through it, like you figure it out, then you reveal the answer and it tells you where you're going just in case, you know, in case you can't get it or whatever. Um, and then you go there and you tell them like your name and where like that you're doing the, the mystery picnic. Um, and they give you whatever, they give you whatever it is that you're, you know, there to get. And then you go and open the next clue and you figure out where that is and then you go to that place. And so you get to, like, you discover all of these really funky local places as you go along. Uh, and then at the end of it, the very last one is this just a really lovely spot to sit down and have a picnic. Uh, and so you collected all these things along your journey and then you sit down and you eat all of it. <laughs> and it was just 
amazing. It was just such a wonderful, regenerative day. Like, I mean, I was so fucked by this. When we got home, I passed the fuck out. I, I actually fell asleep on the couch. Um, so, like, it was exhausting, but it was just so fulfilling. Uh, highly recommend. It's not, um, it's not super unbelievably cheap, but the whole thing's paid for. So you, you get your first clue, you go to the place and you just get food. You don't have to pay, like it's, everything's paid for in the next place you get food, the next place you get maybe drinks and treats and stuff like that as you go along. Um, so the only extra cost you have is like getting there and then getting around. Um, we ended up buying a picnic blanket because we don't have one and we're like, actually, I kind of want one. Um, so that was an additional expense that we decided to take on. And then everything else, like if you've got like a cooler bag from a, from a, um, uh, they do recommend bringing your own cooler bag. And so we did, um, from like a supermarket or whatever, like a zip up foil lined, you know, those things. Uh, but when we got to the first place, they gave us a, a cooler bag and I'm like, good. Brilliant. Uh, so we ended up with two, which was useful because, uh, the first one didn't, it wasn't quite big enough in the end. Um, and yeah, so we got the, like everything you saw in that last photo, um, was what we picked up along the way. Uh, and it was all fucking delightful. It was so good. So, so good. And we couldn't finish it all. There was just so much food. Uh, so we packed it all back up into the cooler bag, brought it home, uh, and have been kind of snacking on it since. Uh, <laughs> it was just, oh, it was so much fun. Highly recommend. Like, it's fantastic from, like, a, a gift perspective as well. And this is, none of this is sponsored. I'd never heard of them until my mum bought me the, the gift uh, for Christmas. And, um... It turns out that she had been on one before, like she had been gifted one. And so she was like, ah, that'd be a really cool idea for daughter. Uh, and so she, she bought one for me. Uh, and now I'm like, who can I give one to for the Christmas or the birthdays? Cause it was just so good. And the person like you just, you get a gift card for it. And so you go onto the website and you pick where you want to go. You pick the date, you pick the time, well, no, no, not really the time, but like you pick the date and all that kind of stuff. And you figure out like the, the giftee does all that kind of stuff. And then at the very end, they just put the gift card code in to pay for it all and it's done. Um, so there's, so if you're the kind of person that you don't want them to know how much it cost, bad idea, because they can see that all the way along. They can see exactly how much it cost. Um, but if you don't mind about that, it is a phenomenal gift idea. Really super fucking cool. Uh, and I absolutely want to go on another one <laughs> to a different place. I want to do all of them. Uh, it was just, it was so much fun. Uh, and it has inspired me. I want to, next time Aldi has um, picnic baskets with all the bits and pieces included, I'm absolutely going to pick one up because going and sitting out and just having a picnic was really lovely. I don't get a whole lot of time to go out into nature and shit. So um, it was, it was really nice. Really, really nice. Um, but yes, highly recommend. Um, hey, Josh, welcome back. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, cooking the barbecue at the moment. Fantastic. Went to the gym for the first time since the holidays. Yeah, it was rough. I know the feeling. Take care of yourself. Uh, I couldn't get the coffee clue. Oh, so um, what it, the coffee clue was basically um, like, so the very first picture, you find the picture that matches it. And then if it said like three, you'd count the letters in like one, two, three. So if it's cappuccino, it's C-A-P. So P is your first letter that kind of, and then, yeah, so it was, um, plantation coffee, uh, Mount Tambourine plantation coffee. They're, they're a place where they actually have a coffee plantation in the back of the cafe. Um, so they, they pick their own coffee beans, roast them and then brew them and serve the coffee. Like right from like start to finish, the whole process is done on site. Uh, unfortunately we don't drink coffee. Uh, so I had a chai and Jess had a strawberry milkshake. Um, and they were going to offer us a coffee tasting of all the different blends that they do. But because we don't uh, like coffee, they gave us a couple of fuck the biggest muffins I've ever goddamn seen. So we got a really big ass muffin and, uh, and a vanilla slice to share, which was delightful. It was really, really good, but good Lord. <laughs> humongous muffins looks so nice I haven't been there since 2005 and I miss it ah oh, the drinks look nice they would they were really really tasty amazing sounds awesome are they only Queensland no they're not not only are they not not just Queensland they also have a couple of overseas destinations as well um there is a I think it's a different company but like same umbrella that operates the ones overseas but yeah they're um like mums in Victoria uh, and she did one down there and there are at least seven different places now in Brisbane as well that you could like, so there's, you know, Mount Tambourine, there's Paddington, there's South Bank, there's, do you know what I mean? Like you can go to different places amongst the state. Um, but we decided to take a day trip. 
because I'm like we could go to somewhere nearby and like walk there but no nah, let's let's go out of the out of our comfort zone and let's go somewhere like really out the way it was really cool hey is slim Amazing first letter, oops, ended up with mick me, etc. No wonder I didn't get it, that's okay. Look, I'm, like, my brain is puzzles. When I called mum afterwards and she was like, did you get all the clues or did you have to, like, did you, did you, like, skip some of them? I'm like, no, fuck no, I did every single one of them and got every single one of them right. And she was like, oh my god, really? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and, and Jas was like, have you met your daughter? Like, this is what she does. <laughs> this is puzzles. Like, she loves puzzles. And I think that's why I loved it so much. Like, the treasure hunt aspect of it, just, oh, it was awesome. It was fucking great. It was like a video game in real life. <laughs> uh, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you, Slim. Very, very well. Uh, right. No, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to go to Dal and I'm going to go learn... Um, Legion inscription so I can learn these two, get them out of my bags, and then maybe we'll go see what we're doing next. Have you met Fear? Yeah, exactly. Hello, Zam. Good morning, Z. I'm so glad you had fun. It looked all looked amazing. It really, really was. I highly recommend it. Amazing co. They're fucking brilliant. Really good shit. I kind of want to get sponsored so that they can send me on another adventure. <laughs> like fuck. I'm gonna live stream the shit. Come on, I'll do it. Pay me. Like, you give me the thing for free and I'll go do the thing. But uh, it's, uh, it was good fun. Okay, so just to double check. Yes. No, I'm not taking the portal to org. I need to do the inscription y shit. Need assistance? Sign this. Alrighty then. Can I help you? Sign the contract. You have a great day now. Hey. Off and away. Done. Legion inscription get. So I can now learn this. Should make that go to 24. 24, brilliant. Uh, and then I can learn this one as well, which will up my number for return to Kara, but I'll do that later. Uh, and I also have this world drop. And I have this world drop. So all this. Light. Awesome source. Okay. So I'm now at 24 out of 34. I reckon that's a big damn improvement. Up to 70% from in the 20s. So, you know, halfway, I got another half of it done. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so the next one is apparently Piroa Seat of the Triumvirate. So this will be interesting. Uh, good morning, Miko. Every single category you're using is a subcategory of an expansion in DNR. Yes. Correct. Um, there are, obviously there are different numbers when you pull it out, but I'm not pulling it out. I'm just grabbing the numbers from the main window. So, like, this is the main window, and I'm grabbing it from here. That's just there. Yep. All right, on to the shaman. Seat of the triumvirate. Is this number gonna be accurate? Probs not. Nine out of 38, oh shit. Nine out of 38, it reckons. Oh, Jas, what did you want to do for dinner tonight? Because we can do literally anything. It might actually be a good idea to do uh, chicken curry because that way you can cook up the rice and have stuff for lunches and dinner and overnight, like and and the like one of the left overnights. Food for fuck's sake! I'm gonna come out there and bonk you on the noggin with an empty bottle. Um, uh, I have one in the Blue Mountains near where I live. Ooh, ooh. Mum, actually, when I told her that I wanted to do all of them, she's like, your birthday's coming up. Do you want another one for your birthday? And I was like, oh, maybe not just, maybe not that soon. <laughs> I need to rest up. That was a big day. Um. <laughs> uh, I heard you were live at Farming Transmox from your Insta story. So are you winning? Yes, Sam. Absolutely, I'm winning. Are you winning today? Are you have a win? Are you having a winning day? 
I hope you are. See this triumvirate, 9 out of 38. <laughs> okay, so it is actually... Oh, I, get, mm, I know why. It's because it's shit. That's okay. Um, I can do mythic and heroic. It's because you can only do two runs and then you gotta get on to the next person kind of thing. Next tune. Uh, so... <clears throat> what this does mean though is that I can cycle through all four of my shaman if I need to because they are all 50 now. What the fuck? Uh, I miss the garrisons. I use them all the time still to make gold. Don't have to miss them. Did I hear birthday? You did. Excuse me, it's like less than two weeks away now. Which is terrifying, but that's fine. Ugh. Okay, I might be able to directly extract. Oh my god, seriously? Holy shit, Jack, that is impressive as fuck. You are impressive as fuck. Just in case no one's told you that lately. You are impressive as fuck. <clears throat> birthdays in this economy? I mean, we can still have birthdays, but can we celebrate them, Zam? I think that's more the, uh, the issue. <clears throat> okay. Spent my birthday in lockdown. Yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't seen any of my family face to face in two years. Last time I saw them was my 30th. And I'm about to turn 32. Because right after my 30th was when we went all went uh, when we all went into lockdown. Uh, and then pretty sure we were in lockdown for my birthday last year. I think. No, we weren't quite in lockdown, but um the plans I made fell through. But that's okay. Used to be born, don't they know about the economy? <laughs> I know, right? What are they thinking, Zam? What are they thinking? <clears throat> I'm blame born because in lockdown there's nothing better to do. <laughs> I mean, you can't have protection delivered, just putting it out there. Be safe. Be safe, y'all. A nine month streak, Draz! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having an awesome day as well. Thank you so much. No, the economy. <laughs> hey, Axiom, how are you going today? Welcome back. So I'm clearing. Oh, Jesus. I apparently need to empty my bags. That's okay, at least I can mount in this place. But I'm clearing all of this because there's a zone drop that can drop from any of the trash that starts a quest that gives you an ensemble. And there's an ensemble for every class. Like, <laughs> every class has a unique ensemble. The problem is, I actually, I feel like maybe I have to have done the whole last Argus quest chain to be able to get it to drop. I feel like that's going to be a prerequisite. Uh, funny then that they're expecting a downturn in birth rate since lockdowns aren't very romantic or conducive to healthy relationships. Yeah, there has been a lot of breakups because of lockdown as well. Like, a lot of bonking because, you know, again, there's not a whole lot else to do, but in terms of actual relationships, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure that the people who are calculating the birth rate are aware that um, babies can be had when it's not very romantic. <laughs> like, mmm... The 
quest is called. What is it? Armor of the Triumvirate. What from her lunch break is certainly more interesting. <laughs> oh no. Um, what was it? I've forgotten. Armor of the Triumvirate. Quest. So I wonder if the item can even drop if I haven't done the whole Argus chain. First chain for this starts from glowing key fragment. And drops. Oh, sorry, it's not per class. It's plate, chain mail, leather and cloth. Plate mail, leather and cloth. One for each armor type. One ensemble for each armor type. Um... Does it drop without having done Argus quests after the intro? No answer. Pretty sure you need to do all the quests up to the point you are sent inside to take out Lyra. Take down Lyra. Only characters I'm having trouble getting this on are the ones who haven't quite finished that area yet. Yep, okay. So I do have to do that whole chain. Right, okay, what I'm gonna do then is do that. I'm gonna stop killing trash. I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna go do that to see if I can get that to happen so that I can bump up my seat of triumvirate completion because I'm never gonna get above like 70% if I don't get that thing done. Uh, so, Argus campaign. Hopefully um, it'll not be too long considering I can smash things pretty easily when I'm not in a dungeon on mythic difficulty. Uh, as someone who deals in babies, I can assure the birth rate is not going down. Uh, there's a market for them. Have you read A Modest Proposal by Jonathan Swift? I've not. Speaking of markets for babies, I am now very concerned. Uh, I do listen to a lot of true crime, true crime podcast type deals. So I've heard a lot about like baby trading and, and all that kind of horrific kind of shit, like taking babies from, from people, from young mothers and stuff. And, um, uh, also what's it called? Like, um, kidnapping young women and like forcing them to become pregnant over and over again and then selling the babies and shit like that. Like it's, this shit happens and it's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's unbelievable and it shouldn't happen, but it, it absolutely does. And it's disgusting. Uh, don't worry about it. I am worried. Okay, take me to the service. No? Okay. Do I have to go to, like, this one maybe? Uh, not the market for them. People having babies keeps me in a job. Fantastic. Good. Oh. Not as good. What happened? How, I broke it. I broke it. I, I tried to move the Vindicar and I crashed it. Literally. <laughs> Oops. Is fear worried? Usually. Usually. I do live with Jass. You have to keep this in mind. You have to keep this in mind. Oh my god, I'm so excited for tomorrow, you guys. I get to wear my new earrings for Mount Farm Monday. For my, my, my luck. My, uh... Lucky earrings. Look! Aren't they beautiful? Anonymous suggested them via my throne suggestion, like wish list suggestion. And then when I when I added them, when I'm like, oh my god, they're so pretty, and I added them, Anonymous person bought them. And I'm just, oh, I'm so thankful. And I can't wait to put them on tomorrow for the the well, the well, the lux. The lux. Yep. All of the lux. Okay, fair point. Did you not ask for directions? Like, goddamn, the female Dren and I have an entire joke about this. <laughs> not that bad. No, he's the guy who wrote Gulliver's Travels in 1700s. A satirical essay on poverty. Interesting. Interesting. Any recent injuries, Jas? I mean, he broke one of our bu glass bubble teacups the other day. I lend you my strength. 
He didn't hurt himself though, thankfully. I went out there and like helped him clean up so that he could move his feet because he was barefoot on in a tiled kitchen. Um, so I, I wiped up some of the stuff around his feet just so that he could get out of there and grab the vacuum cleaner. Um, but yeah, no, uh, no, no actual injuries. I don't think he has bumped his finger, like the the wound that's still kind of healing on his finger. He's bumped that a few times, but I wouldn't really count that as an injury because it's just an irritation of an existing injury. <laughs> You'll not be able to hold this line for long. My thanks, outsider. May our paths cross again. These are some of the Eridar's greatest warriors. Do not underestimate them. Pretty earrings. I know, aren't they gorgeous? Sterling silver and all. I'm just, I'm, oh, so excited to pop them on. Hopefully get some luck. And I don't, you bet your ass I'll be wearing them for most of February. <laughs> you bet your ass. So cute indeed. You heard him for smashing it? Naughty Jass? No, it was an accident. It was like, uh, could it have been avoided? Absolutely. But the fact is it happened and that's okay. Stuff is replaceable. Jass's hand is not. Uh, so I'm, I'm just glad that he wasn't hurt. But yeah, we d it's not like we don't have a second bubble teacup now. Those are the ones that we bought way back when, um, to, like, like, back before we had the bubble tea club ones. So, um, we were just, he was using them because they're glass, they can be brewed in. So he would be brewing it in the cups and then pouring it into the bubble tea club cups. Uh, so it just means he's down a brewing vessel, basically. Um, but we do have other vessels he can use, but he has already said that he wants to replace it because he really likes using them to brew with. Uh, replace his hand with a hook? No. No, I refuse. All right. Congratulations to Gruben, Whiskey, Landar, Z, and Dupe on all your bonus shit. Well done. Thank you so much for placing your units. Let's do it again. Captain Jass though. <laughs> now he can't wash dishes if he's got a hook. Not properly anyway. He probably also wouldn't be able to do his job, which means we'd be down half the rent, etc. Well, more than half the rent, etc. etc. Look, there are there are reasons. There are reasons. There we go. Flag bearer placed if you'd like a buff. Make sure you place your units near the flag bearer, the chair bearer. Yeah, that's right. Behold the might of the Vindicard. How will you pour bubble tea with a hook with the other hand? You just. The light cannot be found. At least given the pirate title you're talking about. His many vessels. <laughs> I wonder how far through this I have to go before they tell me to go into the seat of the triumvirate. The earth rides. I mean, at least I'll cross a shitload off. Like... The seat of the triumvirate counts. Like, there's, there's fucking seven out of the 38 come from this one quest. So I, it's, I need to get it done. Um, I just wonder how long it'll take. Because <clears throat> I know as soon as I do this, the next one on the list is going to be another another armor type in Seed of the Triumvirate. I'm going to have to do it all again. That's okay. Getting it done, crossing it off the list will feel good. I just have to keep focusing on how good it's going to feel as I push that percentage up and up and up. My lowest one is now 23.68. That's not bad. It was like 16 when I started doing this. 62.96 overall. Will you join our 
A timely arrival. Let us destroy this foul machine while we still have the chance. Oh, I still remember doing this, and then it like Your came up close to the out of it. Like it's it's its own guard. It doesn't need a guard because it like something is wrong. Ah. Oh. This is no mere siege weapon. So I don't think Jess doesn't have a healthy respect for personal safety versus cool sounding amputation replacements. You, look, you may be correct with that meeting. You may be correct. You may be correct. Hey, why you don't play some arenas or any dungeon? Uh, because I don't enjoy PvP, firstly. Uh, and I am playing dungeons. It's I'm playing dungeons to get transmog, transmogrification, like appearances. Uh, and there's one particular dungeon that in order to get like a third of the appearances available in that dungeon, you have to have quested up to a certain point. So that's what I'm doing. I'm knocking out those quests so I can go back into that dungeon and get half the appearances or a third of the appearances. Uh, if you're looking for streamers who are doing arenas, there are plenty that do it. Hundreds, if not thousands of streamers that do arena on stream. Um, you are under no obligation to watch a stream whose content you do not enjoy. So uh, feel free to find something that you actually want to watch rather than, uh, you know, telling a streamer like that they should do something different because it's not a, yeah. <laughs> we play what we want to play as streamers. We do what we want to do. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to watch. Same with anything else, really. Movies, TV, even reading books, listening to podcasts. If it's not something that interests you, uh, it's 100% your right to find something you do enjoy. Uh, hey, why don't you do the thing I like? Because uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I do what I want. I do what I want. Um... I like your pillow, the Twitch pillow. The the Twitch pillow, yeah. I got. Uh, we had like a an online socially distanced partner, Australia New Zealand partner party last year, like a Christmas party thing. And they sent us all like a, a care package with a few bits and pieces in it, some cookies and some tea and some uh, painting supplies. Actually, we did like a paint and sip uh, via Zoom. And uh, in the box was a pillow. I cannot allow your bitterness. To impede our so there you go. That's where I got my Twitch pillow. You Pretty sure you can get them on Amazon, though. Uh, I've seen a couple of people who have them on wish lists and things like that. Not sure if they're exactly the same ones, but hey, the pictures certainly look the same. This won't end weirdly. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Ah, oh dear. Your weapons. It's Turalyon! All of you close. shut up so I can turn the quest in, please. I've heard the story a couple times. <laughs> I'm good. I just I just want to turn the quest in. Come on. Hi, Exarch Turalyon. We meet at last. Fatoon's people safe from the Xenodar's fall. Many others were not so fortunate. They hold the ground around the crash site, fighting for their lives. The when you are ready, we have much to discuss. Chronikai Crystal. Cutscene, or do I have to listen to you talk? For millennia, uh. the army of the light has waged war. Nice, your the fellow world. paladin. I'm not a paladin. I'm a fucking shaman. Sabotage. Oh my god, Turalyon, go faster. We committed to our cause. Either we would end I don't want to have to do this two more times today. I really don't. <laughs> it was quite racist towards four pallies anyways, Am. There you go. When at last our final assault on Argus began, okay. we knew we might not survive it. And when the Xenodar was hit, it seemed that all It called you here. Yeah, it is. At Come on, Mufasta. He has his reasons. I mean, everyone has their reasons for being racist. It's just that most of them, if not all of them, are fucking wrong. My faith is this ridge line will guide you to the pits. Stay low. We'll regroup shortly. Panic. 
More like Torella yawn, am I right? You are indeed. His <laughs> panic gaze dick. His armor is too heavy, that's why he walks slow. Fucking look. I will protect your ass, Australian. Just come on, get a move on. He dragon behind? He was. Dragons be fucking look. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. For a second I thought I was still in my warrior and I tried to press my charge button. I'm very good at this. You are not gonna eat me, you are gonna die. Change him to cloth, he'll be sprinting. Oh, wouldn't that be white? Wouldn't that be great? I could love that. Love that. I put into democratic motion to allow Terralian to die. I mean, look. Look. Nom indeed. He tried to munch, but instead I kill. What level is this one? Level 50. Am I actually getting experience from these quests, I wonder? Oh no, because they're level 45, aren't they? Not 50. Never mind. Yes, I do dare. I just want my armor set okay, just fucking die. Yes, outsider. I'm done. What? That's ridiculous. Technically, yeah. So I'm guessing there are some play like I need to point it to certain places on my hard drive and stuff for it to be able to grab what it needs. Does fear dare always? Here's a small taste of my bell I actually really do like the Argus music. Like it, it conveyed danger, but also wasn't like constant panic. You know, I don't know. It just, yeah. The army of the light stands ready. Ready your weapon. Oh, let me hit it! Come on. Demon, you brag and bluster, and then you die. Shut up. Let me turn the question. Come on. We stand together. <laughs> Give me the life force beacon. I got a hundred and forty experience, so like that's a lot, you know. Oh, God, fifteen percent. Couldn't you have reached out to us? To your people? 51 out of 345 steps. Erator. Oh, I hope that, like, seat is somewhere in the middle of that. I know it's not gonna be, but I really hope it is. What news? Every choice we made was to keep you safe. Not all. It broke our hearts to be apart from you. The Vindicard will be the instrument of our retribution. As with any weapon... It's already started for 56 season. No, she hasn't. She's trying to get fucking transmog. Um, 
Oh, is it up? It, uh, upstairs. Fuck. Jesus. Goddamn Christ. All right, let's go. Good fortune. Downstairs inside the vinegar. Okay. The Naru have not forgotten us. Downstairs is Thelbus Wimblenod. Can I help you? All righty then. Get upstairs to turn, turn in the quest. There is so much more we have to say. Crockle Hovel. Our allies at the Xenodar will soon be overrun. Trillion and Cocoon. Watch the dialogue and enter the tunnel. Your death, High Exarch. And yours, Outlander. The Legion will only fall if we stand together, Chieftain. And right now, we have friends facing grave peril. There is a way. We will use what power we have to help you. A tunnel? So, this is how you have survived. We have hidden. We have adapted. In our hour of need, this land still listens to our pleas. I will go on ahead and clear a path. The bridge leading to the Xenodar seems to be the least guarded. Light be with us! I'm trying to find where I go into the dungeon. I imagine I'll say something in the line of enter seat of the triumvirate. Fuck this. Uh, right click. No, okay, that's not gonna work. Control click. There we go. <sighs> All right. So it's somewhere. It is absolutely like towards the end of this guide. So let's let's pew pew. <laughs> um, I'm 17% of the way through. Let's go. Life force beacon teleport shadow fields. Okay, we can do that. Um, Rose of Incrawl, 100%. Well done, Dory! Congratulations! That's epic! So FYI, since I got this working, easy way to export non-dungeon raid stuff too! Ah! Nice. What a crazy long quest chain. This, so, this is the entirety of the Argus campaign. It goes across three zones, an entire continent, like it's a big ass thing. I understand why I understand why it's long. I just don't want it to be. Um, there's a, so you've got to do this so that, so that we can do, uh, there's an item that drops in Seed of the Triumvirate, which starts a short quest chain to get an ensemble, which teaches you seven 
appearances for your armor type. And it won't, the item to start that short quest chain won't drop unless you've done this whole big thing. So I'm just hoping that I can get through it quickly. I'm hoping that out of the 345 steps, a lot of them are short. Like go here rather than a, a 20 minute experience, you know? And honestly, it does seem like a few of these are, are quick things. Like I'm at 65 now. It's not going to take me long to get to step 70, you know what I mean? It just, um... A little bit frustrating is all. <clears throat> I want to dive back into dungeons, but I know that, like, in order to finish seat, or in order to even, even get close to finishing seat, I'm going to need to do this. And I'm going to need, need to do it on this character plus two more characters. One for plate and one for um, leather. Uh, I've already done cloth because my main is cloth and so I've got Fia's stuff done. Um, but there is one set per armor type. But Seed of the Triumvirate is really, really low completion on a bunch of different classes. So this, doing this will jump it a massive amount. It's like a third of the appearances in the whole fucking dungeon are from this quest chain. So I might as well get it done so I never have to do it again. You know, we'll get there. I'll get there. Uh, so what you're telling me is this is needed on all four armor types. Correct. Four tunes minimum need to do the entirety of Argus. Well, they need to do Argus up until the point where they say, go to Seat of Triumvirate. And then you zone in and you're able to get the drop. At least that's what I'm kind of, that's what I'm assuming given uh, the wowhead comments. <clears throat> I will be heralded. Bummer, yeah. That's right. After I do this, I'll be halfway there. Two out of four. And I won't do another one until I get onto a tune and it's like seat and it's either plate or leather. And I'll go, okay, let's do it again. Need a couple more of these crystals. Bow before the master's armies. This one up here. Let's see, one over there, and then one over there. Actually, no, let's go this one. Because then I'll be closer to home. And stuff is dying pretty quickly, so. It's dying a lot easier than it was in Mythic Seat of the Triumvirate, that's at least. Although that is supposed to be, you know was supposed to be top tier uh, max level content, so it makes sense. Alright, follow the path up. Um, uh, apparently level 28 my warrior enjoying the questing too! Awesome! Oh, it's so good to hear. Nothing worse than wanting to complete something but not enjoying the journey, you know? Get to those batteries and start shooting down those bats! We're counting on you. <clears throat> I'm enjoying things in this economy. I look, it can happen sometimes. Sometimes. I serve the life. Alright, so step 75 out of 100. It's not bad. So, well, 75 out of the first 100. We're going to get to 345. 
I don't think we have to do the whole last thing though. I don't think we have to finish it, finish it. We just have to get most of the way. You'll take some time to calibrate the teleportation matrices. Keep it out of the Legion's hands until then. Should be it. Just activate 76. the console one last time to complete the transfer. I will handle the rest. 77. I lend you my 78. <laughs> Two tall box clashing horns. You've done it, 79. Come, let us enter the Xenadar and rescue Zira. My faith is my shield. You didn't come ben, this far to save you Zira. 80. The central chamber. Oh, thank the light. We are not too late. And what then? I was locked in a cell for delving into the void against her wishes. <clears throat> Will she make me a prisoner again? Or worse? Zero will see that you risked your life to save her. Her faith in you will be restored. I know it. 81. 82. Zero. 83. You are safe now. Come, champion. 84. We guide her to the Vindicar. We, we stand can get out together. We fight for 85. Home, family. Dionys. Our troops will finish securing the Xenadar. Though we retrieved its most precious cargo, we cannot let the vessel fall into the Legion's hands. Place the beacon at my location. We're coming home. Enough of the yammering. I'm trying to count here. 86. <laughs> Changing stream title to fear counts. Done. 87. <clears throat> 88. Oh. My faith is my shield. Skip the thingy. 89. Not all. 90. The light does not die with the prime Naru. It shines within each of us. We still have our purpose. We still have a world to save. We must... 91. Arm. You are right, Prophet. The mission still stands. Hype! Will you join our 92 Her time is 93 now. Her light has not left us Not yet Her light Oh, another light crucible That's downstairs with darkness. We must safeguard what we can Within the crucible 94 95 <clears throat> May I be of service? 96 This does actually make it feel like it's going faster though, so that's good <laughs> we must 97 98 now look up the light welcomes there. you, Chapter. Ninety nine. Heart of the Legion. Soon I shall tear it out. Disconnected again.
<laughs> Can anyone who's like got some spare moments go to go to Argus and move the Vindica? I just want to see if it get, disconnects you too. Revision for me. I go back to school tomorrow. Ah, brilliant, wonderful. I would just love to see if it DCs anybody else for like moving the Vindica. Because it's literally every single time I've shuffled the Vindicar around, it's DC'd me. Also, I feel like we should clip that. <laughs> Happens to me all the time in August. Oh, okay, so it's not just me. Good, it's not just me. Bad, why the fuck? <laughs> Chinamon isn't there yet. I'll bump another and check. No, it's all good. It's all good. No stress. Like if it's happening to Kim as well, and it's not just today, like it's been happening for a longer period of time, then look, I get it. It's supremely frustrating. All right, so we're at 101. Our time is now, hero. 102. Chronicai Crystal. 103. Will you join our cause? No. Fire the gun. 104. 104. Oh, people, I am adding the coordinates to our beacon matrix. We All right, so which one might there we go? 111. That feel like it's like a jumped. Switch the Veiled Den. Weakening their positions. I feel like that jumped, but I am okay with that. Uh, although they had fixed Legion's Stormheim initial bat quest, so new bugs bound to appear. Yeah, absolutely. You know, take one down, patch it around, add 72 more bugs to the wall. The hour has come at last. I will see this to be. He end. thinks I require help. Uh, okay, 113. Is that a 345? Try to keep up. I will finish. Hmm. Need some bug spray. Oh, if only that worked, hey. If only that worked. This is the Legion's heart. We'll direct our forces to establish a foothold outside the Legion stronghold. While you speak with Magni. <laughs> the storms whisper. Hazaroth stays right out of turn, but Hazaroth's spirit speaks to me. You it's like a song. You hear them as well, beauty in it, even when our message ain't exactly clear. Argus okay. Congratulations to Draz, Dory, and Fairy on all your bonus shits. Broken. Well yeah. done. Skin chest time. Make sure you place your units. If you're there are three different skins from this event. If you don't have all three, now is the best time to be placing those units. Unlock them before the event finishes in uh, just over a week. Okay, I can't. I can't show you the chest anymore, Soz. Uh, all right, quests. I have finished the healer placements, and I have finished the assists from healing. So follow that link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Now is the time. Now is the time. All right. Place your hand on the stone and skip we need the cutscene. See something. Right. One hundred and twenty-one. This is bad. Very bad. I will lead my people through any dark. 122. What is 
is it? One, two, three. Twenty-four. Oh my God, you lot. Last one, I need three of them. Click here when you have three. So 125. Okay, so. Okay, so. Talk to me, Jack. Done, but it's getting but getting the data cleanly into sheets is a pain. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. FYI, first few times it moved fine. Third time DC. Ah, oh, maybe it's only between those two. Like, uh, maybe it's only between Krokun and others. I don't know. Came here for two reasons. Oh, I've just finished the first round of that. Oh my goodness. I've obviously I've finished it on fair. Like that's a thing. But yeah. You're on 127. Yeah, I went up, then left, then back to Krukoon. Interesting. So when I when I went from Eridath to Krukoon, DC. When I went from Krukoon to Antoran Wastes. DC, but I haven't gone, but I, see, you've, you left Krakoon, and it was fine, but when I left Krakoon to go left, it, hmm, interesting, interesting. More of my people have been taken by the Legion. They seek to break our bonds of kinship, to turn brother. I'm 29. Please. Free I mean, as might as well. This is like a free 200 gold just to kill this person. So let's do that. And all of a sudden, BFA music. What? This is Islands music. K to E fine, E to A fine, E to K DC. That's so strange. Though we can never thrive here as we once did, Argus is our home. You have this cave is apparently an island expedition. At least for today. I wonder if they use that pattern in an IE and then they've just kind of set every day. Oh, look, I don't know. No, because I've been in other. I'm not sure. I don't know how it works. All I know is that it's spaghetti good. <clears throat> Cave expedition, exactly. 130. Out of 345. We're getting there. Look, we're not- this is not going slowly. It's just not going as quickly as I would like. <laughs> Basically. I don't know when I move into car, just select a location point. Yeah, ne never ever noticed the problem until now. No, neither had I. It's just because you don't move, need to move it unless you're doing the quests. Outsider. Ooh, okay. 
131. One thirty two. Yeah, how are you today? I'm doing pretty well, thank you, Chaos. How are you going? Best way I can think to do it is to create a separate sheet that you can copy paste into a new sheet there, then replace all the values in the sheet with a formula. Yes. To make it like neat and tidy. Ooh, that's. It, like, here's the thing, right? It's either do you do a whole shitload of work off the bat to make it so you don't have to do any work later, or do you not do a whole ton of work now and do, like, a little bit of work continuously? I feel like doing a whole ton of work at the start is going to be better in the long run. However, I do not have the time to do that at the moment. After, like, March? March, April? I will absolutely have the time to replace everything with formulas but now absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not the army of the won't risk our forces on the spire Go. without that war frame backing us but that is super cool though being able to be do all of it without having to constantly fucking like update stuff would be really lovely and being able to like get something and then glance over and watch the number change would also be fucking magic oh god that'd be a thing of beauty Hello, Daz. I'm okay, just a rapid engine has come out. Negative, fantastic. Be lazy now or be lazy later, the dilemma. I know, right? Like a data sheet and display sheet. Yeah, exactly. A data sheet that has all the numbers, but that's a pain in the ass to read. And then like a front page that collates all the data really beautifully, um, but it's just like a, a hassle to set up for the first time. Uh, program attitude, huge tweaking to save five seconds. Yep. But it wouldn't save five seconds. It would save hours upon hours upon hours that's the thing it's a whole lot of little five seconds is here and there but over time given how many like how much data is here and how much i'd be having to update it it would absolutely end up saving me potentially a total of months by the time i actually have everything that i want to have you know it's huge It is absolutely something I will do. Just, uh, not for a while, unfortunately. That's another bit exalted. Well done, Slim. How many are you up to now? What number is that? <clears throat> Invocation array, 142. Uh, wouldn't be real time as well, doesn't allow that. It'd be a single copy paste to update every instance for a single tune. Oof, yeah. That's pretty good. Go 145. So 200 steps to go. 145 out of 345. Hey, Kylie. Got any goat cheese left? No. It is gone. It was delicious. It was so freaking good. 
Um, when we got to the cheese place, um, the, the owner of the place was like, so here's your fig and pear paste. And this shelf here is the cheese we offer. So choose whichever shelf you would, like whichever cheese you would like. You get, you get one cheese, pick any cheese that takes your fancy and uh, enjoy. And there was a bunch of like Edam, there was Dutch smoked, there was stuff like that. Um, the only soft cheese on the rack was the goat's cheese. And so I turned to Jas and I'm like, how do you feel about goat's cheese? And he's like, honestly, you pick whatever you like. I don't know cheese outside of shredded and slices for sandwiches. Like he just doesn't, because he hasn't had the experience. So he doesn't know. And I'm like, okay, goat's cheese it is. And if you don't like it, I'll fucking eat the lot. Uh, turns out he really fucking likes goat's cheese. Like really loves soft goat's cheese. Um, so yeah, it was it was delightful. Really, really good. And especially amazing with that fig and pear paste. Like it's, you know, the, the salty with the sweet is just phenomenal. I love that flavor combo. It's why I love um like maple on my maple syrup on my bacon and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Also by a formula, I mean two formulas that you could autofill all the columns with. Yeah, of course, of course. Autofill is the bestest. Dragging the little corner of the rectangle is the best feeling in the world. As you watch everything just kind of populate, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look, there are multitudes of reasons why I love spreadsheets. Okay. Only 10 in total so far. Aha, wow. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm like, reputations are one of like my first things that I always do in a new expansion. Because I love grinding it up and getting it done and getting that achievement and it just unlocks so many nice pretty things and all that. It just, yeah. It's one of my first things, like, always. Which is why it's so interesting that I don't have Archivist Codex worked all the way up. But I've just been so distracted with, like, transmog and mount farming and all that. Oh, it's just been so much fun. <laughs> Probably got something to do with the whole 50-50s thing as well. Any spare time I had was spent leveling rather than uh, reputation farming. <laughs> We demon slaying today. Uh, we, whoa. we are not falling off the fucking planet. There we go. Um, we are transmog farming. However, my lowest percentage completion dungeon across all my tunes currently is Seat of the Triumvirate on a shaman. And approximately a third, kinda, so out of, out of 38, uh, it's not actually a third. What's that? 18, close to a quarter of the appearances from Seat of Triumvirate. Uh, are part of an ensemble that you get by doing a short quest chain. The problem is the, the item that starts the short quest chain is a drop from seat, and it can only drop if you've done the Argus storyline. So, I'm doing the Argus storyline. Which, look, I'm having a time. It's fine. It is a good day for us. It's fine. So, Jack, um, will your copy pasting the data from the thing, will that update, um, the, um, like, the, the total number as well as the completed, or just the completed? We will advance on the Citadel on the ground while you It's been down 50% done loving this AT dot. It's so much fun, isn't it? It's great. I'm, I'm very much enjoying it myself. Yes? Awesome. Fuck for that. I don't understand why the number keeps changing. I'm guessing it's deciding like, oh, actually that doesn't count. Oh, actually that does count again. I I'm not sure exactly what it's doing, the but I don't like it. Has the spire gates to arms. How do 
do I close the rifts? Oh, do I have to jump on them, I think, don't I? From memory. No. Ah, vindication. No, that's a heal. No. Oh, I can click it from over here. Okay, I couldn't click it before, and now I can click it from inside it. Good. It's exactly what I wanted. Thraxis lies in the spire ahead. Take him down. We will be upon the courtyard shortly to finish them off. For Azeroth! <clears throat> mm, pulls both numbers directly from current ATT. Amazing! Nothing you have done here matters, I love when you explain boy. things. Thank you, Kylie. We I'm glad. It's, um, can. like, I... When I tell someone, like, when someone asks a question or, ex like, explains something that they're doing, it's like, they they may not know what I'm talking, they may, might not know all the bits and pieces that are needed to understand what I'm talking about. So I try to make sure that anyone can participate in the, in the conversation. And also like, if I don't give enough information that they don't feel weird asking for more or asking a direct question or whatever, like it's, I want everyone to be able to participate regardless of their like level of knowledge of WoW, you know? So yeah, it's definitely something I, I try to I try to do. helpful hey mk i'm glad you find it helpful i really do thank you so much for the feedback and welcome to chat hope you're having a lovely day Ooh, that one cool hmm. rejoining my forces we're at step 168 so i think we're past halfway now just god i hope this keeps moving quickly <clears throat> so what Magni saw was true. Agrimar lives once Not more. Who won the God service of Sarkis. The power at their command is immeasurable. Back to Krakoon. Ah! Uh, it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. <laughs> One seventy-three out of three forty-five for those counting along at home. <laughs> we will win this war. One seventy-four is everything awesome. Usually, how much of it is sarcastic? Who can tell? Who who knows? All of it? None of it? Some of it? Fucked if I know. Going up. I do miss Illidan. Hope your story comes back one day. It was epic in Legion. Yeah, look. I think if he came back, everyone would be pissed. Because anytime Blizzard redoes anything or reuses anything, people get upset. It made sense 
Like, I mean, even Legion was a rehash of the Burning Crusade, because the Burning Crusade was made of demons who are part of the Legion. And so Illidan coming back, everyone was like, ah, but they were happy because they got to play Demon Hunters. If they brought the Legion, the only reason to bring Illidan back, his entire purpose is hunting demons. There is nothing else to his character. He has a backstory and shit, but his entire current purpose is to hunt demons. So the only way he would come back for another expansion would be if it was another expansion about demons. And I think it's been done. It's been done. Uh, and I honestly think that they ended his story arc really well. Like he's he is fulfilling his purpose. He didn't complete his purpose, but it cannot be completed. What he can do is sit there in his, in his forever place fulfilling his purpose permanently and uh, i think that that's the best that he could have hoped for the best that we could have hoped for for his story we've done his backstory we've gone through it we haven't really left any stones unturned uh, i think he's done i think he's done uh, but i think it was a good ending for him he got his happy ending exactly let's not take it from him i i agree or if I this agree. Is the time or place to... Come, speak with me. I must know, Varisa. What fate befell our sister? But Illidan was a phenomenal character. I, I quite liked. I mean, apart from his consistent emo kind of, like, in his always talking. He's like Batman. You know, he's always got the voice going on and stuff. But no, I, I agree. He, he had a fantastic place in a lot of our quests and stuff like that. I think, I just think he's done now. If you want to play through again with him, make another tune. Play through all his story, all of his story again. You got 50 characters, 50 goes at playing through all of his shit. So I 100% like go through, go play through Burning Crusade to level the character and then go through, play through all of Legion's storylines once it's leveled. Highly recommend. Let the man fight for all eternity. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, for those of you counting along at home, we're at 183. Also, pinning, oh, pining after his brother, twin brother's wife. No, that was, I, mm, that was a, that was a whole different thing. I have three times. Lol, I'm done for me. Totally fair. I'm totally fair. 184. Hmm. 184. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yep. Exactly it. One eighty five. I am free. Hurry, High Inquisitor. The enemy is upon us. Lazarus, my loyal servant. Stay here and kill these fools. I have much to do. It will be done, High Inquisitor. No, it shan't. Seekers. Cover the high is dead. <laughs> uh, one eighty six. Moments ahead of us. Take the portal back here, and I will figure out where the Inquisitor has gone. Um, Final Fantasy account back. 
What's this dungeon thingy? Uh, it was a little mini scenario thing. I'm trying to get to the point where I can get a particular drop from Seed of the Triumvirate to start a quest chain that'll get me a quarter of the appearances from that whole dungeon. Because I'm going to need to eventually, so let's just, we might as well do it now, right? Might as well do it now. We're at 189 out of 345. Armaments from one of our past assaults litter the ridge on the eastern side of the hold. Their recovery would aid our war effort. <clears throat> yes, maybe so of all baby tunes. I'm trying to finish Law Master of Eastern Kingdoms? Yes! Uh, who, ah, is there an open demon world next? Do we need Illidan back? Look, maybe. I, I just, I think people would be pissed if it happened though. Um, and I mean, Legion was so recent. It, it's, yeah. In terms of like expansion wise, it was, it was so recent. Uh, working on my baby tunes trying to finish Law Master of Eastern Kingdoms. You are gonna smash it, Koala. You're gonna, you're gonna smash it. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna feel such, like, such pride in yourself as well. You got this. You got this. How many zones have you got left to go, do you know? Or like a handful too many to count? Uh, so when I finally start farming Legion Transmog, I'm only up to BC lol. And I rely on you to remind me that I need to do this quest chain! Look. You can add it, so if you've got your, um, if you've got your spreadsheet, you can add a note to that. And when you add the note, it'll pop a little box, like a little corner on the cell that you'll have to like hover over to see. Highly recommend making use of those. Um, if you, if you learn stuff while I'm doing it and you want to remember. Highly recommend. In fact, what I might do for people copying this, let me... So if you have a look at my AT dart now, you should be able to see on the Seat of the Triumvirate the dungeon name. There'll be a, a little thing there. <clears throat> the source of Ralgar's immortal. Uh, five zones left. Nice, Koala, you're so close. That's awesome. There we go. <laughs> Good news is with all the leather tunes, I only have to do it on one character. That's a good feeling. Yeah. I lend you my strength. Bam! 
Kim, congratulations all. I hope you got a skin. Tell me in chat. I'd love to know who got skins. Congratulations to Faden, Great, Fairy, Z, Miko, Zombie, Dano, Dory, and Gruben on all your bonus shits. Well done. If you know how to do it. Not so only armor type, not class. Yes. I'm surprised Legion was very class based. So was I. But when I when I read on the comments on Wowhead, it specifically said there's one per armor class. Um, so thank fuck for that. <laughs> thank fuck for that. Okay. It was like um Argus was introduced like quite late in the expansion though, so maybe that was why it ended up being just uh armor based rather than class based. Um Though that, it does make sense, because, like, looking at my spreadsheet, Seed of the Triumvirate, um, my, my, what, my Warlock is 81.82% complete. And she's not, like, I, I'm not even sure that she's actually set foot in the place, ever. <laughs> so, um, it makes sense that the only way she'd be able to get there if it was, uh, armor type. We, I have given our plight much thought. Um, all right, we're going to Eridath. We will oh, shit, okay. If we challenge Antorus. No DC. Hari, this is all that is left. Will you join <gasps> They didn't... They didn't change the, the voice lines. So in the chat, it says, Prophet Velen says, Eridath, this is all that is left. But in voice, he says, Makari, this, the, that is, uh, this is all that is left. So, I mean, of course, that would have been a hell of a lot more difficult to get the, the voice lines changed. But my God, that just kind of, it, ooh, yeah. We will yeah. Not all. It just kind of surprised me to hear it, you know? Ah, uh, game from age. Understand? Yeah. Thank fuck for that, though. Good lord. Ah, uh, doing Legion with the Demon Hunter was so cool. Holding Twin Blades of Azanoth. I don't even care about any other weapon. Look. Uh, and how many people are listening during these quests these days? Of course, of course. Me, because I'm a noob. Anyway, uh, <laughs> or I'm because I'm a, a, a silly who likes to do all this shit. But you know. We're at 202. 202. We've cracked another 100. Laura. Will you join our cause? So many were left behind. They linger, forced to relive their final moments over and over again. Perhaps the only way to end their torment is to finish what I started so very long ago. We must let these spirits finally realize this. <clears throat> uh, maybe they'll have a change whenever they have the voice actor back for other stuff too. I'd say so. While they're there, might as well, sort of thing. Kazadoom first of his name. I listen to you. always think it's really sad the game devs do all that work and people just speed through without actually listening to the full work. Of course. Absolutely. Okay. Back 
back in we go. I wonder who's next on my list. It takes so long. It does. It really does. Especially once you get into the flying ones and stuff as well. It just, ugh. Ugh. 210. Am I going to change the next expansion? Yeah. So morning, afternoon, evening. Hello, Nutty. How are you? The depths of my regret as Argus grew smaller and smaller in the distance. I begged the Nado to go back. Arcanon Poros, Prophet. The army of the light stands with That is your help is most welcome, Faria. Not all who wander are lost. We seek the sigil of awakening. Archimonde may have left it in the conservatory. Understood. I have just the person for the job. Yumera. Okay. Okay. Right away, Captain. Uh, I'd be fine if you could activate all the waves and just burn them down. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. It would be very, very nice. For a lot of different dungeons and raids to be able to trigger that kind of stuff, I think. But considering that it's part of a boss fight, it's all part of the same like mechanics and stuff. I like I get it, but it's still yeah, yeah. Mm. At least you can go right up to where they spawn and like explode and explode and like you know just kill everything. Excuse me, but then yeah, when they start spawning in the camp, it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass. Especially on melee tunes, holy fuck. I mean, her boss, of course, of course, of course. Uh, who's hyped for a light void X pack next? Who knows? We'll find out. I'm sure. Probably get an announcement at some point this year. Need to be able to AoE and pull from Sky with spread out mobs still going there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a like once I get to having raids be a big thing and like going through a whole bunch of tunes doing a raid one after the other. I'm actually, I feel like I'm going to really enjoy that. Um, but we'll just, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I was doing it recently with um, Blackwing Lair. Because all Fear needed, one last drop that Fear needed to 100% Blackwing Lair was a cloak. So why would I bother going through all the effort to kill all those bosses when she doesn't need anything from them, when it's a cloak that could drop on literally any character? Um, so I started going through them all, and it felt really good, honestly. And once it actually did drop, I was like, yes! It just, yeah, it felt really nice. I am tempted to kind of go back and do like clear them, 100% them in order. Um, like even if it's just on fear, like I, mm, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, this is working pretty well at the moment. I think it's getting us a good variety of dungeons and raids and different types of content and stuff. Um, going through it from like lowest percentage. So we'll just, we'll see how we go. I had hoped that would work. The lights I am on. going to need your help. Jostle it a bit, won't you? Mm, I want anyone can wear a cloak. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, I know that voice. Exile Emera. Why have you returned? We need to. Conservatory resources are not available. Just spent 20 minutes tracking down a bug in a formula only to discover Google Sheets was auto converting 9 9 to a of date. All people to become gatekeeper. Perhaps you had better do the talking. Well done, Jack. Look, you realized. 20 minutes is better than 20 days. 
The sigil is the conservatory's highest honor. Only Archimonde's chosen <clears throat> may pursue this accolade. I mean, I killed Archimon, does that count? to inform you that the master created trials specifically for- Big Mellow is on Wednesday, sticking with it for the week, kind of a middle ground. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great middle ground. That's really awesome. Uninitiated to participate. That's a good call, I like that. Great, we will be on our way then. You, Imera, will have no part in this. But I will not deny you the opportunity to watch a fool's end. <laughs> I will <indulge. clears throat> We're at 230. I may not be to be that qualifies but I have 231. Interest. I will not restrain myself. Let us begin. Okay, I just saw my first coffee of the day. Not really woken up yet. Totally fair. Totally fair. 232. You face Jarasuf, Grand Vizier of the Conservatory. Hmm. It is so Jarasum must have become Jaraxxus. The way that you face Jarasum, Grand Vizier of the Conservatory, is too patterned to not be the reference. It has to be, right? I am required to provide a greeting. This <laughs> challenge is very simple. Enter and proceed until you reach the other side of the street. So means I know nothing is locked, and then once done, it's locked. Yeah, absolutely. Best of luck. Try not to let the beams touch you. I imagine it is quite painful. Mind the stairs. Oh, you <laughs> made it. Wonderful. <laughs> Fine. This trial is complete. Merely because I two thirty five space in which to test your. Uh, that is actually true. He was Grand Vizier Jarazum before becoming Jaraxxus. It had to have been. Like, that pattern of speech could not be anybody else. If it wasn't him, I'd, I would have been disappointed. Like... Kind of half expected him to say, you face Jarasum, Grand Vizier of the Trifling Gnome. So, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're at 242. Really close to being only 100 away. I am obligated to serve. I 243. In the Praetorium. But you know that, didn't you? We have to be close to getting to seat. We have to. Come on. It's not gonna make me go all the way to the fucking end, is it? Like, seriously? It is, isn't it? <laughs> I would have thought 
that the end end would be the raid, but I already have a quest to go into the raid, so... Ah, yes. It has been too long since I have humbled the pupil. I must confess, these trials do provide endless amount. <laughs> a worthy tribute to my conservatory's teaching. You will do Argus proud. Claim your prize. You found it. Such power. I can feel it from here. <clears throat> Another 50 for the old army. Nice. Well done, Zam. Congratulations. How many are you at now? Anything can be a weapon with the right mindset. 246. Last night I did my first few dungeons here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's about to have a wipe and vault. These people not doing mechanics. Well done, Koala. Oh, that's awesome. You must feel so good about yourself. That's great news. Not all who wander are lost. Archimond was disdainful of the sigil's limitations. Two fifty. The rest of the crown, it gave him little power. <clears throat> And power was all he ever craved. This disdain is what allowed us to recover is clear. Pursue them to every world. Ah, uh, invasion best. points. Okay. Show them that they cannot escape our wrath. I do wonder what he hoped to prove. Counting 36? Amazing. Oh, that's so good. You kick an ass. Okay, so we've got two appearances we can get from this invasion point. Let's see how we go. This might be a bit tricky on a 50, but we'll see how we go. <clears throat> I lied. It's going to be just fine. My friend I play with uh, most with is literally Pro Warriors. Great about everything. Oh, yay! That's super good. Yeah, it always helps when you got someone you trust to kind of catch it if you fall. Here's a small taste. <clears throat> <of> <clears throat> Your death will be swift and unmerciful. <clears throat> so this step might take a little longer than the others have just because I have to do all three full-on proper invasions but um they still shouldn't be too bad your world will be I don't have to stop and loot anything either, which is probably a good thing. Okay. 
Okay. And now we break the anomalies. How's the eventually yesterday? Hey, Akaz, I hope you're doing well. It was amazing. It was so much fun. We documented a lot of it on uh, my Instagram stories, and it was just so much fun. Like, so, so, so much fun. Uh, went around to all these little places at, up at Tambourine Mountain and discovered a whole bunch of little, like, seriously cute little places to stop in. Um, and got a whole bunch of food and stuff, and then went and had a picnic at the end of it all. It was fantastic. Really, really good. Enjoyed it very much, Lee. <laughs> Sounds great. It really was, yeah. It was a Christmas present from my mum. Uh, it was like a mystery picnic. So you, uh, you go and, like, you have like clues that you have to solve and then the the um the puzzle when you solve it tells you your next stop uh and even if you like if you can't solve it it, it just tells you but um yeah it was it was great i really enjoyed myself oh excuse me you went on an adventure so they don't see that on instagram tell us everything <laughs> yeah it was it was amazing like an hour and a half drive uh out to tambourine mountain and then um yeah, stopped off at a place and had delicious uh, chai. One of the best chais I've ever had, honestly. Uh, and some, uh, Jas had a strawberry milkshake. And some pastries, a gigantic muffin and a vanilla slice. And then stopped off at another place and grabbed a little picnic platter thing with cold cuts and cheese and fruit and dried fruit and a uh, little dip and some crackers and all sorts of little tasty bits. Uh, and then grabbed some... Where was the next place? Next place was like a lookout. Um, went to- Oh! Ah! I actually got a new piece of transmog from a fucking in invasion. Holy shit. Um, so the, the coffee shop and then we went to a lookout, which was like a sightseeing place. And there was a massive ass goanna and Jaws was like, stay away from them. They bite. I'm like, okay. But it was like a big ass fucking goanna. Like, good lord. Uh, and then went and picked up the picnic platter. And then there was uh, some drinks from a place, and then a uh, 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 goat's cheese and fig and pear paste from another place, and then some fudge. Oof, the fudge was tasty. We ate that today. Uh, there was, uh, we got some, we had like, we could pick three different bars of fudge. So we ended up going with, um, oh shit, where's the next, um, Spot. Oh, uh, okay, so it's- okay, that one. Uh, we got raspberry red velvet, passion fruit, and Caribbean lime and coconut. Like, the three different flavors. Oh, so good. Uh, and then we went out to the Botanic Gardens. And, uh, and sat down and had our picnic, and then it threatened to rain. So we packed up the picnic blanket and went and found a picnic table under some shelter. Uh, and finished off the eating there. It was just, yeah. Really, really good. One of our past assaults, cheese. I fucking love, like, good cheese for, like, cheese board quality cheese. So fucking good. So tasty. So fucking tasty. We're at 252. Uh, step number 252. must be put down. No need for mercy, but do be swift. Go. Could get the miner's pickaxe from this location. Sounds amazing. It really was. It really was. The um, company's called Amazing Co. Um, they do a whole bunch of them all over the country, a whole bunch of different locations. Um, Tambourine Mountain was one of seven that are available in Brisbane, or in Queensland, I should say. Um, and they're, they're bringing a few more locations online soon kind of thing. So, like, yeah, it's well worth and um 
an amazing gift as well because you just you basically just buy one of them as a gift card and then the person who wants to do it like the person who you're gifting it to they go online they pick their location they pick their date and then they just stick in the code from the gift card kind of thing um, and it's all just paid for uh, as you go to each stop you don't have to pay anything you just collect your goodies and on you go kind of thing um, or you can, you know, purchase extra stuff if you so desire from any of the locations. But yeah, it was just, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed myself. The invasions in Argus, a few transfer pieces to grab from them. I just keep forgetting. Oh, there are so few pieces that you can actually get from them and the drop rates are so ridiculously low. Um, but yeah, I only tend to do them when I'm doing other stuff in the area. Uh, hey, Anab, I'm doing well, thank you. Kind of tired, but overall doing pretty well. How about you? I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, hey Fiamma, why are you on Saofeng US? Why not play on OCE? What's your ping like? My ping is 18. Saofeng is an oceanic server. The United States, like the NA and OCE are the same region. So we can play together, like from US servers to OCE servers, you can play together. And you could create a character on OCE or US, and it's all in the same region. Yeah, that's that's how it has always worked. Um, back in Warlords of Draenor, um, well, actually, so in vanilla, all the servers were just NA, and that's where OCE players had to play because that was the best connection we had kind of thing. Uh, and then in, I think it was in Burning Crusade, they actually flagged a bunch of servers as oceanic. So the, the server time was equivalent to Sydney time, but the servers themselves were still physically located in the States. As of Warlords of Draenor, those servers are now physically located in Sydney. So we get super good ping, um, but we can still play with all our States friends, stateside friends. Yeah, same region, always has been. Uh, it's just that the Oceanic server's actual status has changed a couple times throughout the years. But yeah, my, my ping is currently like 16 to 18. I'm okay? Okay is better than shit. I'm glad you're not shit. I'm glad you're okay, Nab. Welcome on in, Julio. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Just taking advantage end of the patch. Do stuff on ults and whatnot. Fantastic. Wonderful. We'll click baited from the battle net launcher. Good to see a fellow Brisbane night on here. Click baited. Why is it click bait? <laughs> Uh, the ping is awesome. It's about what mine is for UK. Also, how I monitor my net's recurring problem appears. Yeah, ping hits and stays at over 30. Yeah. Um, back in, like, Wrath, when I was doing, like, you know, ICC raiding at 300 to 450 ping, that was fun. That was fun. But, I mean, you get, you just get used to it. You know that you have to press your spell, like, you have to press the buttons for your spells half a second to a second earlier, and you just, you learned a cue. You learned a spell cue, and, uh... Yeah, it definitely sucked for PvP and stuff, but for, like, for PvE, when you know everything is scripted, you know when something's coming, you can kind of, you can work around it. PvP, it really sucks, though. Oh god, it's 20 past 7. No wonder I'm getting hungry.
<laughs> Probably yes. Yeah, look. But you know, it just it gets to that point where all of a sudden your stomach feels empty and you're like, what? Why am I so hungry? And then you realize like, oh, it's been literally like six hours since I ate. So yeah, that's okay. I'm sure Jas has probably realized what the time is and is working on dinner. Miserable wretches! The hour of doom is at hand! Mm, this lady played with someone from South Africa, told me her ping to European servers was in the 200s, and it's the best region ping wise from people in that part of the world. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, closure also plays um, on EU. Because it's just, yeah, it makes sense. Why is this actually hurting? I must have stood in too much shit. That's alright. we go. Two down. One to go. And I think the one is, yeah, up north. So I gotta take the portal to the Veiled Den. Okay. And then we can move along with the fucking 345 steps. We're still at 252. Yeah, people are actually wanting an African server for some time now. Yeah, absolutely. I would say that they're probably having a similar issue to what they had in Mel in uh, in Australia. So, in Australia, there were several points at which Blizzard tried to set up servers in Australia, uh, and each time they would go to Telstra because Telstra was the biggest uh, telecom company in the country, obviously. Uh, and Telstra would say, "Yeah, sure, you can have servers here." Um, we'll take five times as much as what you're paying in the US to manage them for you. Uh, and they said, yeah, nah, you can fuck off. <laughs> Understandably, right? Understandably. Um, so, eventually, I'm not sure what changed, but at some point, right, like, before Warlords launch, they managed to get it to a cost-effective point. So what I would imagine is happening is that either there's a telco in in Africa who's trying to over the over the move like charge them out the goddamn nose uh, or they're not but it's not worth it to them it's not worth it to Blizzard to put a um a server out there because of how many subs they have or, or how much they're making because this is the thing subs are not of course like subs aren't their their biggest draw of, of cash anymore it's um it's all the microtransactions and stuff so if they're not making enough money from Africa then it's not going to be worth them to pay the money out to stick the servers. Do you know what I mean? And I mean, you can argue that more people will play if there are servers there and they get a better ping, but that's not always the case. And I'm sure they would have factored that in. So yeah, it's uh, one of the two. Because <laughs> of course it's all about money. Uh, they're a company. They have shareholders. They have to make a profit. Um, so yeah, but it's, it is interesting. I wonder what the issue is. I wonder why they wouldn't. Um, just noticed my ping is above 30. Oh, general weathering on section of cables plus storm sometimes tricks the provider into thinking an issue and they cap the net. Ugh, gross. Gross. Do people in Brazil or other parts of South America have their own servers like Oceanic Realms? There, I think there are. There's, I'm pretty sure there's Latin American realms um, that are on, like, even if you're, if you're a part of North America, OCE, blah, blah, blah. There's more tabs. There's another tab. And I'm pretty sure that they're Latin American realms like Ragnaros and stuff like that because we get stuck with, um, uh, like, we get stuck into groups with those players in, like, LFR and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that they are there. Uh, I just don't remember because I don't often look. Um, but it's a hell of a lot easier for them to stick stuff, like, closer, you know, in, in, closer to those regions than it is to potentially do it, you know, 
much further away. <clears throat> they may also even have Latin American offices. I know that they've got uh, an Australian office. Um, and I'm- that maybe that's where- maybe- maybe the launching of the Australian office coincided with the, um, the- the launch of the Australian servers and maybe that's why they were able to afford to have them out there- be out here because they have their own team here now. Um, I know that, um, my contact with Blizzard, uh, wasn't always working with the Australian Blizzard office. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, I should be right back. Just gonna close stream. Of course, Natty, not a problem. I mean, do you know if the servers are located nearby to them? Uh, that I'm not sure about. Um, you'd have to do some, some research. I've never, like, obviously I'm not there, and so I've never played on those realms, so I don't know what their ping would be like. Um, you'd have to Google that. <laughs> a hydrate and a posture check. I reckon I can do that. Set myself up and have a drink. <sighs> Wonderful. Wither before my might. <clears throat> oh, it's a battle. Shit. Oh, there you go. It was at least it was only like seven minutes ago and not twenty minutes ago. Look, it's been worse. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Zam. I appreciate it. I'm not sure how I missed that one. Forgot it too. Brilliant. Hello, nurse. How are you going today? Hope you're having a lovely day. Love your dress. Thank you. It's my Sylvanas dress. Unfortunately, it does not have pockets, but that's okay. I'm gonna be paying attention to streamers. I'm busy clearing waves of stupid flying things to help out thrall. That's okay, meaty. Not a worry. I hope you're getting some drops. I hope you got some drops from the first couple bosses. At least you can only do it once a week, right? Like at least you you can't run Hygel endlessly, so you don't feel like you have to. You can only do it once on each turn. Uh, great, Neke, Pulse, Meaty, Zam, Run, Fade, Cade, and Veer. Congratulations on all your bonus shit. And it's boss time. Loyalty boss chest. Place your units drops in this economy. I know, right, Zam? You got a drop. Well done. Congratulations. On we go. Actually, yeah, no, let's go get this one. Might as well. Okay, thanks. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I 
<sighs> Honestly, I'm pretty sure like once I get this done, I'm gonna go in and do it on Mythic and clear it to get the, the trash drop. Or even I might get the trash drop and then zone out and then go do the rest of it and then finish the clear to get the rest of it done. And then that's it. Not doing any more. Don't care. Now is your chance. Finish this fight. The way I tend to play WoW nowadays is focus on one ult, try to learn as much as possible how to play whatever spec I'm running. Fantastic. Good way to play. We're still on 252, by the way. 252 out of 345. But it's because this one step was do three invasion points. So... Destination unreachable. My ass! I'm in a half sedel. Greater invasion soluble. Yes. They definitely are on fear. Like on my 60s. Yes. Um. Oh, I think. Ooh. Actually, I think I had to pop a bunch of cooldowns, but it was. So it's been a while since I've done a greater because there's no quests for them anymore. Um, but I'm pretty sure the, um, they are, but I think you have to kind of try. Depends on the class, of course. Best way to know, of course, is to go give it a go. Go give it a try. Okay, let's go talk to Illidan. Turn both of these in. The hour is coming. <clears throat> the legion. Um, Hangzark Turalyon. The light welcomes you, champion. Time is of the essence. We must not let. So the, the arcane two fifty five. We're at two fifty five. Status report. Barot sent up a signal flare. <clears throat> Two fifty-six. He is alive at least. I have heard nothing from. What's he going for? By the way, seat of the triumvirate. There is a uh, a quest ensemble. Um, the quest begins from an item that drops from trash. Uh, the item cannot drop from trash unless you have completed the Argus campaign. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> 258 is a 345 step guide. So I'm counting down the steps. Well, counting up the steps, really. 258. I'm on step 258 out of 345. So we're doing pretty well. We're getting there. We're getting there. 259. I sense an ally nearby. Two sixty. Telemon must be nearby. 
Just follow the train. I am one with the light. The light is two sixty one. This is it. Fall before me. Actually, since you're doing this, how did they deal with voice lines? They didn't. The the text in the chat box changed, the voice line didn't. I imagine next time the voice actors are in the studio for whichever quest, uh, for whatever they're doing, they'll uh, just re-record. Because it's entirely, entirely too expensive to get a voice actor in to do one fucking line. Um, like, it's you know, they have, not only do they have like an hourly rate usually, uh, but there'll be like a minimum call out as well. So, you know, minimum three hours, even if it takes them two minutes to do what they have to do, it's just too much. Um, so the text in the chat box changed, uh, the voice line did not. But there have been, I think there's been one that's mentioned it, like literally one <laughs> that's actually said the name. So, yep. Okay, 262. This is it. <laughs> Valen. 263. Forgive me, my son. Are you hurt? I am unharmed. I'm back, just sent a message provider on Twitter to see if they can check, just if I don't need another engineer out, as I already know it's all external. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to get them out every fucking time it happens, just so that they can log that there's a pattern happening. Because, you know, you may know, but if they don't, you know, they have to have the data kind of thing. Pain in the ass, but might be worth it. 266. If you cover our retreat, we may just see this through. Step 266. Make haste, my oh, excuse me. Something dark and terrible stirs, and it is not Talgath. Yes, they flee to the terrace. We have them right where we are. Two seventy one. This relic's time has passed. 
274 Oh, they're talking. They just said seat. They just said seat. I have not forgotten your betrayal. No. Silence. You dare speak of them? This is your end. If there is a shred of goodness left in you, you will help us find the crest of knowledge. <sighs> you are far too late. Nothing will escape the temple, not even the light itself. I see. Safe journey, Talga. I hear Jess. Hello. Hello. Look at that, and you're also. Oh, you already got the other one. Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't have yours. Thank you. 275! 276! He gone, gone Zem. He gone. Location. There is you should tag him. Inbound. Come. I <laughs> Bye, Jazz. <Jess>. Yep. <laughs> 277! Turn in shadow of the triumvirate. Guys, I think we're there. I think this is it. Wait, he's up there. What? Ah, uh, he's doing a fucking walkie-talkie thing. Not 278. Accept no the seat of the triumvirate. Guys, we're there. It's it. This is it. This is it. If the crest of knowledge and by now, all that trash will have respawned, so I'll have more chance to get the fucking trash drop item. Like, help us. Will you join now? Without the crest of knowledge, we cannot prevail. Come, we must brave the darkness. Go with Velen. Hold, Prophet. I have scouted the area. The shadows grip Makari more tightly than you know. The darkened Naru pulses with void energy. 281. It is far worse than I feared. Do we have the strength to face such a foe? There may be another way. I was here, you were here. A second set of hands. Not all who wander. Greetings. Oh no, okay. Investigate the ruins of Oranar. <laughs> we're not there yet. God damn it. Two eighty-three. Uh, question for you: Have you physically seen or heard any signs of the volcano erupting in Tonga or the resulting tsunami? I heard that people, as far as Peru, noticed it. No, I have physically seen with my own two eyes the marine warning that Brisbane had, but it was only a marine warning, as in people who are in boats on the water need to watch out. Uh, there was no land warning. Take a look around. But there was for Northern Queensland, but I don't live in Nor Northern Queensland. <clears throat> so no, I'm just, I'm in the wrong place to, to have, like, felt anything like that. Uh, but there was, yeah, absolutely a land warning for Northern Queensland, uh, and there was a marine, land and marine warning up north, and then there was a marine warning only for um, SEQ, which is southeast Queensland, which is where Brisbane's located. But yeah, it was a fucking big one. Like you saw, I'm sure you saw the um the like satellite images and stuff of what it looked like from fucking space. It like it was a big fucking deal, a big fucking deal. Ah, uh, Brisbane's kind of south regarding Queensland. It is. Yep, very very south. In the great dark beyond. 
not quite on the border. There are stuff, there's stuff further south of us, like the Gold Coast. Uh, but yeah, we're, um, we're like a fifth of the way, or maybe like a quarter, like a fifth of the way up the, like on the vertical measurement of Queensland. Yeah, we're, we're quite far south, yes. <clears throat> I'm putting in so much fucking work for like seven pieces of transmog. <laughs> but it means that it'll be done for all of my male wearers, so like, I can't really be sad about that. S 288. I found a survivor. Come to me. Two eighty nine, and we're at least getting closer to seat. Like every quest to stay here is closer and closer to the dungeon. Use every weapon at your disposal. Come on out. We need two ninety. A voice. Two ninety one. Arkan has never heard this one before. We found your messages. Yes, Arkan did call, but he was not expecting. <laughs> Help me. Remember that there are quite a few Tongans living in Australia, even to the point of starting a global radio station for Tongan Dispara while Tong itself was incommunicado. Wow, there you go. There you go. Still at 291, but we're about to jump forward, I think, when we cleanse this last one. Be 292. Yep, 292. And then I can kill this one. And that's 293. Greetings. 294. Archon, was it? Speak. 295. What happened to your people? Archon knows. Yes. Oh, do I need to go, like, slowly? Did I break it? I think I broke it. God damn it. Archon listens. This way. 295. Could you elaborate? Even a little? <laughs> Perhaps with some idea of what you hope to achieve. We will stop the whispers. Pointy ears should know. I must confess, Archon. That does not put me at ease. Look, the way is closed. How will we go to Isilon now? 297. Are all these creatures... My people... once. How is it you do not share their fate? Archon forgets. Wait, there is a voice.
We still hear their prayers. Rest, brothers. Rest. At least their suffering is over. Guessing this is gonna be more. Quiet, quiet. Archon listens. Where are these things coming from? They want Archon. He promised to save them. Interesting how Nashville does make so many people conscious of a nation that a lot of people haven't ever heard about. Yeah, absolutely. Until something puts them on the map, you know? Who calls to Archon? Name yourself! Or until it puts their own home at risk. Definitely a few groups of people in the world who are, you know, their, their worldview is incredibly centered around themselves. For better or for worse. Archon remembers. 298. Archon calls to us. Isalon will look to the stars again. <clears throat> that is not Isalon calling to you. Wait. He's Oops. still here. He crossed over into the void. We may still be able to save him. If 299. 300. Who is that? Show us, please. Uh, I presume most channels have heard of Tonga before. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We even had a comedy TV show about them. For, again, for better or for worse. There was a, an Australian comedian who uh, had a whole bunch of different, like, personas that he took on, and there was, like, a, a comedy, like, a skit show about each of them, eventually. Um... So, like, it'd be a, a short, you know, half-hour form TV show where a whole bunch of silly things would happen about this character or about this character, or, and one of them was called uh, Jonah from Tonga. Something is pulling us back. Uh, oops, what'd you do? Uh, oh, the dude followed the whispers and was not meant to because, well, death. Um, hey, for you, sad today. Today, my son has left for uni. Isn't that a fantastic and amazing day? Your son is choosing to go and pursue a higher education, which is phenomenal. And the fact that, you know, he's able to do that and all that, that's that's great. That's an awesome thing. I know it I know it sucks, like, you know, having a child leave the nest and all that kind of stuff, but focus on the positives. Comedy, yeah, I know. Look, it was the genre that it was categorized as, whether or not you actually find it funny. If you can. This is, you know, it's different. I think I've seen that show. I've never actually watched it. I have heard of it. And I have seen, like, trailers for it and stuff, and I just, look. Uh, basically, we'll, we'll say that a lot of this particular comedians, like, again, they had all these different TV series based on all these different characters, and uh, very few, if not none, of the characters that he portrayed, he had any experience living their lives, walking in their shoes. Uh, a lot of it ended up being stereotype after stereotype after stereotype after stereotype, which, um, knowing Australians... Casual racism, casual sexism, just all of the, you know, casual phobia of all the different things. Um, yeah, look, it, yeah. I think, like, I think what kind of, so in the 90s and the early 2000s, there was a lot of that shit. There were a lot of skit shows. There were a lot of, like, little comedy things. Like, look at even things like Little Britain was even predates that. But in, in Australia, in the, like, late 90s, early noughties, we had a lot of that kind of stuff, um, and I think that this particular comedian's um, brand of that, it, it took that, that same inspiration and continued on with his own style of comedy, but it was just too late. Like, social awakenings had started to happen, and it just... It no longer suited our, our sensibilities as a society. Uh, but because Australia is behind on that kind of shit, it still was very, very popular. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely crossed the boundaries. Oh, absolutely, they did. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Uh, it's important to stay positive unless it's about COVID tests. Look. You stay positive about getting a negative result. <laughs> 303. 303. 
have something I want to show you. This is the dude who goes into Seat of the Triumvirate with us, so I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. <laughs> Such impatience. I believe you will find the answers you seek on the other side. 305. I just watch this little Britain all the time. It was hilarious. There were a lot of harmful stereotypes in it, but it's it's an era, it, it's a relic of its time. That I think that's something that's really important to when you watch these older shows, when you go back and watch this kind of shit, it's important to recognize that society was different back then. Uh, and it's it's a reflect like not all of it is bad, obviously. Not not all of it is uh, you know, crossing those lines that exist today that didn't exist back then, but a lot of it does. Uh, and so I think it's important to recognize that, you know, some of it is no longer acceptable. Some of it is. And, um, it's important to learn from our past. If you erase history, if you refuse to allow anyone to, to access history, you're going to have problems in the future. You can, like, you can use history and learn from it that it was wrong. You know? Like... I need yeah. to finish what I started, Locus Walker. Yeah. Can you go? Um, to be fair, your politicians have enough comedy material to last any comedian a lifetime. Uh, look. Like, yeah, it's... Australian politics is a fucking joke. And it's a problem. Like, it's, a, like, it's, it's hilarious when you don't live in it. It's hilarious when you don't live in it. 310! 311 How can you expect to embrace the shadow with the light shining so brightly at your side? Uh times have changed. I think the great part is we realize now some of that stuff isn't okay. Yeah. And it's yeah, absolutely. But it is really important to go back and kind of recognize like, oh, that's not okay. And understand why it's not okay. Like listen and and watch these reflections of shit that's no longer okay and kind of make the connection like wow okay that's how bad it actually was i see now why people had to fight to to because this was just this was laughed at this was considered comedy this was considered fair game you know like it's yeah i think it's important to learn from that kind of shit at least at least in my opinion um two hours into the quest line i think we're getting there four hours into the quest line i think we're pretty close six hours into the quest line random swear noises yeah look 313. I'm going to put in that note the Zygor guide step at which it becomes fucking possible to get that goddamn drop. Someone from the US I can relate to. It's hilarious unless you live in it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Hello. Oh! Now there's no Marvel's pearls here. in it. Yeah, because the small pot still hasn't been cleaned? That, not that. I did clean the small pot. Oh. But there's a big ass pot of rice and a giant pan. Mm -hmm. So I went to put the pot on the heat and I cooked the back of my finger. Oh no, so, are you um, okay? Yeah, it's fine. I've washed Where? it out. It's not showing up at the moment. Did you singe your hair off? Surprisingly, no. No, your hair, okay. So it couldn't have been that, like it couldn't have been that long that it was there. Anyway. If you've still got the hair. So naturally, no I went and picked the damn thing up and singed it again. Of course you did. You're <laughs> fucking numpty. That's okay. Well, I need totally to get it okay. out of the way so I can pour the rice out. Um, maybe next weekend we sit down and do a bubble tea order. Yeah, we should do that. Because we we are definitely running low on supplies. No pearls. We've got fuck tons of pearls, but um, we're running out of a lot of other stuff. Anyway, Thank you so much I for bubble tea. Also, um, half a kilo of rice takes for Edmund. Yes, it does. <laughs> You gotta use a big ass fucking pot. Uh, is Jas hurt? He's okay, but he caught the back of his fingers um, on the like uh, near the burner on the top of the stove because he had too many bits on pieces happening at the same time. But he's okay. He's like he he singed the back of his hand and he ran it under cold water. But his hair is still like he, the, there's still hair on the back of his fingers, so. It's not like, you know, you know how like you singe hair off if you burn properly. So it was just like heat enough to hurt, not heat enough to actually cause lasting damage, which I'm thankful for. 
And just what did you do again? Is just hurting his fingers frequently? Yes, exactly. Three sixteen, three seventeen. I ended up not needing a root canal. Got my permanent crown. A hey, awesome news. It's so weird to not have pain when I chew on the right side of my mouth anymore. Congratulations, dude. That is fantastic news. I am so happy for you. Well done. Yeah, my uh, my next appointment is the tenth of February. My next dental-related shenanigan. Show me the path. Loud noises. Guess what, I'm back. You're back. Hello. Right. Surprisingly, not much water left in the rice. Probably because it took half an hour to cook and yeah. cooked off all two and a half liters that I stuck Absolutely. in Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh god, that smells amazing. I haven't tried it yet. How's it taste? Oh, okay. Put me... it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, give me, give me a second. Munch it. Hot. Mm, mm -hmm. Excellent. Roll it, Bob. Ah, uh, good morning, Rosalind. Hello, Savage. Hopefully there'll be some good news for you too. I hope so. Well, um, the good news will be your jaw has healed, the bone graft is taken, uh, and it is strong enough to take an implant. Let's book your surgery. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, I do have to book in a CT scan for before then, though. Um, so that I can, so they can see if it's healed enough. Congratulations to Totti, Pulse, Great, Z, Koala, Fairy, Meaty, and Neke on all of your bonus shit. I hope that's the case for you. Me too. I would really love to because that'll be second surgery, final surgery, done. And then it's everything else is just in the chair and is a lot cheaper. That's the biggest, like, well, I mean, um, Invisalign is still going to be probably one of the most expensive things that i got to do, and that'll be later. But um, once I get that done, yeah, it'll be, all right, it'll be good. Okay. Hmm. We can hit all three. That's awesome. Here we go. <clears throat> when is your surgery due? I uh, can't tell you. Don't know. Um, so we can. I can only book the surgery in if my jaw has healed sufficiently. Like if the bone graft has has solidified enough to hold the the like tension of the implant and stuff. So um, if if they give me the okay, it'll be booked in whenever I have time, whenever the surgeon has time, like whenever we have a, a point that meets up. Uh, and then if it's not okay, if it hasn't healed enough, then they'll send me away with another referral for a CT and say, come back in a month or two months or whatever they think I need to, to get it. Like, you know, they'll look at how much it's healed in four months and then make an estimation as to when they think it'll be done. Um, but usually it only, it takes around three to four months. So they're hoping that this time it'll be like good to go. Um, but yeah, then after that, it's not a matter of like, have to get it done within X time. It's just, we get it done whenever we can. Focus your mind. Remember your training. Yeah. I curse you. I hope it'll go fine for you. Me too. Me too. I'd, I'd very much like that. I very much like that. Be gone, wretched darkness. Be sure to collect our prize, fleshly. I will tend to a lyric. <clears throat> Three twenty-two. The heart of a demi. Three twenty-three. This is no mere token, Illyria. Take it. And you will be one step closer to your destiny. I understand. Thank you. 
both of you. Hmm. Use every weapon ah, at your disposal. Three twenty-four. The beacon is inbound. <clears throat> how do you feel? It sucks how long dental work can take to get done. Yeah, it does. Um, I've been really quite lucky. Um, the uh, like I've I've gotten like all my referrals have happened pretty quickly, which is good. But um, yeah. Hmm. So, Seat of the Triumvirate, the Crest of Knowledge. Um, the guide is telling me I should skip it. Because I don't need to do it um, as part of the campaign anymore, as of 8.2. Uh, <laughs> but I actually do want to do it. So that's it. 326 is when I can when I can do this shit. So off we go. Not quite 345. 326 is hell of a clock. Uh, quite a bit closer than I thought it would be, though. I guess ready-ish turned out to be one formula. Brilliant. Well, I am more than happy to test it for you, if you'd like, as, like, a, a second round of input. Um, I, I imagine that you will understand that I will do it with a copy of my current spreadsheet, just in case it goes kablamo. Uh, I seriously hope I have enough natural bone for the implant and don't need what you've had. Honestly, the um, the implant wasn't too bad. It was it was expensive, but um, the like all of the recovery and all that kind of stuff was just from the fact that like it was a like a major surgery, you know. Um, it, it is definitely a little more expensive having the, the bone graft, are tearing open reality. but shadow energy to pour into our realm. Put a stop. given that you're, given that they're doing it pretty quickly, you should be okay. The reason, um, I needed the bone graft was because the, the whole, so the, um, the, the tooth that they removed, excuse me, excuse me again, there was next to none of it left. Um, and I, under the bottom of it was infected. Um, when I asked the surgeon, like, if I didn't, if I hadn't have had the, the root canal, if there was still a nerve in the tooth with that infection under there, how much pain would I be in? And he said, oh, it'd be a 15 out of 10. You'd be, you'd be in fucking agony all the time. We didn't swear, but he said you would be in absolute agony continuously. That's like, that's how bad the infection was under there. So that infection had like made the hole in the bone larger. So as long as you didn't have like, and the fact that they've, they just pulled it out and kind of sent you on your way sort of thing, um, that like, that tells me that you should be okay. Like I was missing a lot of bone. That's why they had to pack the hole full of gunk. Like they, yeah. <laughs> um, I was in a really shitty situation. I think you'll be okay. I honestly think you'll be fine. Um, Mm, two that ready removed, three being pulled, or all old root canals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that on, like, did they do an x-ray before they did the extractions? Or, like, or any kind of scans? Oh, look! Essence of Shadow. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. That's not the item I'm looking for. I'm looking for glowing something something, I think. I do need to empty my bags, though. <laughs> there was one of these that was a, um... currency thing, wasn't there?
Why do I have two BOEs in my bags that are... When did I get those? Uh, maybe I... They're soul bound, but they haven't, they still haven't registered as. Let's take those out. Yeah, they're still not registering as equipped. That's so fucking strange. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, that's fine. So I need the glowing something something. Yeah, those are all the items that aren't. Okay. Let's continue. Um, I'm kind of had that happen. She had to get her eye teeth transplanted because they grew in the wrong way. One was fine, the other rotted out the bone, luckily, because if it was the front teeth, she was able to get bridge work. Yeah. Uh, great milestone for self-reliance for me to get through all this without taking a loan. Absolutely. And that's what I'm trying to do. Like, um, if I have to, then, you know, I have to. I have a part-time day job and that covers literally my bills with no spending money. Zero spending money. You know, bills, rent, food, etc. All the essentials are covered by my day job. Everything else is Twitch. Everything else is Twitch, affiliate programs, any potential sponsorships, all that kind of stuff. That's all my spending money and all of that's going towards the dentistry. So if I'm able to earn enough to pay for all of it without loans, fucking incredible, fucking amazing, just mind-blowingly awesome, all that kind of stuff. But given that a large amount of that income depends upon people like you spending money, you know, the economy, the economy is not currently super great. A lot of people have had difficulty with jobs and stuff because of COVID, have difficulty with expenses because they're going up because of supply chain issues, so prices go up, all that kind of shit. Like, there's a whole lot of issues with personal cash flow at the moment. So if I can't make it, if I do have to take out a loan, at least I know it's not going to be for the whole amount. It's not going to be for $23,000. I'm not going to be angry if people didn't open their pockets to me. That's not fair. That's not okay. Like, that's, that's not a thing. So um, I will be exceedingly happy if I get if I manage to pay for all of it and not have to take out any loans. But if I do have to take out a small loan to cover like the last of it, then so fucking be it. At least it's not twenty three grand worth of debt. Like that's huge, you know. Anything smaller than that is a is a massive effort. So um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm missing quite a few molars already. Implants are in the plans without needing bone graft. A's front teeth will have always been problematic. I don't recall what the x-rays look like for them. Totally fair. Totally fair. Well, yeah, look, I mean, at this point, if they're talking about implants, they would have already checked that stuff's okay to do it. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're professionals. Usually, they're pretty good at what they do. Um, so, um, I would assume that if you needed one, they would have talked about even the possibility by now. Um, if they thought that it might have been a thing. If something goes wonky down the line and they go, oh shit, we're actually going to have to look at doing a bone graft, then maybe. But, um, yeah, look, I... I, uh, I wouldn't worry about it as a possibility too much until or unless they raise it. But even if it is, even if it does come up, um, it's... It's not... It took me a bit to recover, sure. Um, I had to eat a lot of fucking soup. <laughs> um, but the same goes for really for, for most dental surgeries and stuff like that, you know? So I'm sure that it'll be okay. Um, it, it took me it took me a little while to kind of get back on my feet properly. Like I was streaming within a week. Um, not as not for as long, but I could I could manage it. Uh, and then by the two week mark, I was back to streaming full, like full length streams and stuff. And then by the four week mark, I felt back to normal. Uh, like, in fact, probably be better than normal because I didn't have this problematic tooth in my face. Um, so yeah, like, um, it's, it's possible to work through it. Um, it just takes a little bit to kind of rebalance yourself. You'll be okay. Try not to worry about it too much unless they bring it up though. I know how I know how hard that is. I know. I gonna be panic. Yep. 
they sure know that you'll be able to pay it back. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can wiggle things around. I can make it work. really thankful to be living with somebody like Jas who, you know, <clears throat> if I have some some real fucking financial wonkies for a month or two, um, you know, we can we can balance things out between us and then, you know, balance things back the other way for a little bit. You know, it's just, you know, yeah, it's, I'm incredibly grateful for my situation. Hey, Kay, how you going? Welcome back. Welcome back, dupe as well. Why do I not have glowy thing yet? Where is my quest item? You should just drop into my bags and then be like, quest item, right? Like... Where's the beef? Uh, in the store. Actually, we've got some in the fridge. There's some beef in the fridge. Alright, so we're safe playing Pokemon! Yas! Yas! We did some grocery shopping. Um, but then I actually got to play my game on my Switch today, which I'm very thankful for. Jazz has been playing a lot of it. Jazz has been playing it quite a bit. Um, and then today I was like, hey, do you think I could play some Pokemon? And he was like, yes, of course! So we hooked it up to the TV and he watched me play. Um, but yeah, it was, it was nice. I'm usually too busy to be able to do anything, but today I was like, no, I need to, I need to actually sit down and have some recreation time. Um, and tomorrow it'll be back to work, 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 work. Alright, so I've cleared the room. I didn't get my glowy. I'm a little bit pissed. It's a glowing key fragment is what I'm after. <laughs> oh my god, Jess, seriously? Where's the chicken in my bowl? How's the treadmill farming going? Well, we just spent like most of the stream doing the Argus campaign so that I could get a trash drop from in here, so I could get a whole set of like an ensemble. But uh, we'll see if the, the trash item even fucking drops. So I got to spend some time sorting out the home office. Yay. Oh, that'll feel really good when you go, when you sit back down to work and everything's like in its place and stuff, hey? <clears throat> glowing key fragment yet. <clears throat> a bit of new power board from the good guys. Ten the outlets, six USB, five. and it's wall mounted. Cable management, two repositioned computer, got space on the desk. Fantastic! Ah, oh, that all sounds wonderful, dude. Also, that all sounds great. Here has a particular item that would be useful to me. Just give the word, heroes, and we can begin the assault. It is a good day for a hunt. <laughs> Figure out their motives and put a stop to their efforts. Hey, Amandy. How are you going? Um, all right, let's, where are we going? This way. This one. So in there, in the armory is where I have to end up going, but I need the key first. <clears throat> Which is what I need the glowing key fragment to start that whole quest. Get there eventually. So we kill all the trash first. Um, how do you track your transmog collecting? Do you use ATT or DFA or both? I use ATT for transmog um, because DFA doesn't really, it only shows like your number. Uh, and the number is also like completionist 
data. So like if you get a piece and it shares with five, it only count as one rather than five or six, however you'd, yeah. Um, so I use ATT to track transmog, but for pets and mounts and stuff like that, I absolutely use DFA as well. Um, and it is kind of fun seeing your ranking like per server and in the world and all that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely use DFA as well. Welcome on in, Perksy, as well. Hope you're having a lovely day. Ah, thank you, Dupe. Yeah, that's the spreadsheet I'm currently working with. Um, that's ju that's transmog for, for across 12 classes, uh, but only up to Legion. Up to and including Legion, because I can't solo BFA or um, Shadowland stuff yet, and I prefer to work solo. It just means I can do stuff at my own pace. I don't have to share drops with people, etc. Uh, and plus, because most of my tunes are like level 50, uh, which makes it a little tricky to do the other bits. <clears throat> um, so you're stingy. Uh, n no. Like, I mean, you know, how, how much would you hate it if you were running a dungeon a hundred fucking times and you finally see the piece you need drop, but it goes to somebody else? Like, do you know, it just, no, nah, it feels like shit. Uh, so I do what I can by myself. Much more efficient. Um, there have been times where we've gone through and done, like, Legion raids. Um, because a lot of them, uh, a lot of the Legion raids you can't do, at uh, Mythic at level 50 solo for some classes. Uh, so we'll take a group of four in, and it'll be one cloth, one leather, one plate, one male, um, to, to try to kind of um, balance the whole having to share thing. That way at least, like, if I get other stuff, I can give everything plate, male, and leather to someone else, um, but they will also give me all the cloth, because my main is a mage. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, a nice balance, I think, a nice balance. Uh, imagine a rare dropping someone else rolling and winning it. Yeah. yeah it feels a bit shitty. Don't just share a drop with this sarcasm. I will absolutely share plate with you. As long as you share cloth with me. Rare droppings, guano! Yeah, except in Queensland they're not so fucking rare, hey. I still remember moving up here and seeing just whole cars with the whole, like, the roofs just rusted. Well, not rusted, but like you know, damaged because of all the fucking bats. Yep. Fucking bats. Deal? Gotcha. Awesome. Well, next time we do group ATT farming, I will, uh, I'll let you know. Of course, you'll need to be in chat for me to be able to let you know, because, uh, you know. I mean, also, or you could also be, like, following on, on Twitter and stuff like that, on Instagram, because, uh, I tell people what I'm doing there when I go live. So that, that kind of helps, I guess. Don't necessarily have to be in chat. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Socials and Discord, yes. 15 hours ahead. Hmm, time zones are a bit of a bitch, hey. Where the fuck is my glowing key fragment? Why you know? Why you know? <clears throat> Alright, you had to think of timelines in history, right? So you live in the sunshine state. <laughs> The question is, which sunshine state? There's like one in every country. Back to BFA story, I go, unlock Kul'Tiran, yes, K. Kul'Tiran was my last one to unlock because it just took so fucking long to grind out Revered with Proud and Admiralty. But you don't have to do that anymore, so it's so much faster. So much faster. Excuse me, how dare you silence me? How dare. Mm, for years, my aunt never believed me when I said there was a bat that loved my head until it hit her in the face. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, it's been raining constantly. Southeast Queensland? Yeah. 
yeah, we've got it. We've had a fair bit of rain recently, but you know what? I'm okay with that because, like, it, I would much rather it be raining than it be 45 degrees. Personally, I expect tomorrow off to bed. No worries, Meaty. Good luck. Have a wonderful day. I hope it's. I hope it kicks ass. Like I hope it's great. Great and wonderful and awesome. Seven chapters of Storm Song Valley to go. Nice. This like, well, certainly makes it easier. Just follow the arrow of destiny. <clears throat> if I kill all of this trash and it doesn't drop, I'm gonna be pissed. There has been a godsend. Oh fuck yeah. The rain's a welcome change, eh? Still bloody humid. Agreed. The humidity can piss all the way off. But like, at least we have, at least it's cooling down a little bit. At least. Peeps have been pretty good lately. Just a reminder about my spoiler policy. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely have. Onward. Ah, uh, yeah, no spoilers, including no leaks. That's the. Yeah. Uh, we count leaks to be potential spoilers and therefore come under the rule of no do. Okay, thanks. Well, that's enough about that. Um, this was out for what I mean. Uh, w wow, World of Warcraft. There were some leaks a little while ago and people have been talking about them and the reason I haven't raised it yet is because this happens and then people talk about them and then we have to time people out and shit. So, yeah, it's fine. Just... Um. <clears throat> yeah, storyline stuff uh, for 9-2 or any potential leaks. They all count as spoilers and we know talking. We know do. Abandoned treasure. I wonder what may be in this. Maybe a glowing key fragment? No such luck. <clears throat> no such luck. Part of me loves the fact that my ATT percentage is only 30%. Chimes were more- exactly, I was about to say, if you've only got 30%, it means you've got all the easy shit to go get. Like, I've got 200 and... 204 or 203 mounts left to collect or something. I've got like 630 something mounts. I have very few left to go. And all the ones that are left are fucking hard. Like they're really fucking difficult to get. So like, yeah. There are people like, oh my god, I've only got 73. I'm like, yeah, but that means you've got all the easy stuff to go get still. I'm stuck with all the bullshit difficult stuff. Like one in 2000 drop rates and shit. Like, fuck man. Be thankful that you get to experience the fun part of mount farming. I'm stuck in the difficult end. Uh, 159, there you go. Mine's only at 21%. Um, so my my mage is at like 80 something percent. But I've she's been my main for a long ass time. Um, like when when I first started playing, I had a horde what, like a horde mage. Uh, I got her to 60, 70. I got her to 70. I started playing in BC. I got her to 70, and then immediately went and rerolled. So I created a new tune on Alliance side because there was no like there was no um, faction change, and I found people I wanted to play with, but who did they main Alliance? So I switched and made Alliance tune, and then played as the, uh, Alliance for like five or six years, and then faction changed to Horde. So this has been my main since like. I mean, I've been playing for I've, I've been playing for 15 years now. It's the end of January, oh, the therefore I've hit the 15 year mark, uh, and so I've I've been playing this particular tune for about 14 and a half years, just across different factions. So when I've got 80 something percent cl completion, it's because I've played every fucking expansion. I've I've played nearly every raid when it was current. I think I missed one, maybe two raids when they were current. Um, so, and, and all those dungeons and all those quests, so I've got a shitload of stuff already done because I did it when it was current. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, that's kind of the big thing. Mm, 
Infamous and they started playing in Legion. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it's nope. Life for the win. Big Sag. Yeah, no one's redeemed in a Horde sound command yet, so there just isn't one. Uh, doing stuff when is current is often the best way of getting stuff completed. Oh, absolutely. Or at least getting it to like that 70 to 80% mark. Um, and then going and like polishing it off later. <clears throat> hey, Murray, how you going? Welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, this is Mythic Raids and don't ever raid it. Yeah. Yeah, look. But even then, you can still do like the rest of the difficulties if you so desire and stuff as well. Basically, play however the fuck you want to play. If you don't feel comfortable doing current content, then don't and come back later and do it then. It's an enormous game and can be played so many different ways. Play the way that makes you happy. Whatever that looks like. <clears throat> My pets hunger. I'm stuck on something. A simple tactical error. Thank you for removing the obstacles between me and this staff, heroes. Yes, okay. This will do nicely. You'll find their viceroy near the entrance to the <clears> temple, <throat> feebly trying to break in. Eliminating him will give us an opportunity mm. to ourselves. Oh, do you okay, having my morning coffee? How's your day been? Yeah, it's been I'll pretty good. The way once it's been pretty good. Taken care of. Did some groceries, played some Pokemans. Doing some battles. Go on, alright. Oh, Alright. I always forget, can you run LFR, normal, and heroic of cata raids and loot all three difficulties? Um Cataclysm raids don't have LFR until Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul was the very first LFR that existed. Um but in terms of normal and heroic, I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure you could. But I don't recall. It should tell you in ATT. Um, if you hover over a raid, it'll tell you about it. Uh, and it says lockout. And for example, I'm hovering over the night hold at the moment and it says lockout per difficulty. Which tells you that you can do normal and heroic and mythic because it's like, and LFR because it's per difficulty. Um, but yeah, just double check, like hover over the name of the raid in ATT and it'll tell you. <clears throat> uh, now that I'm starting to recover from the major web burnout, I'm working on trying to learn how to recognize when it's time to stop doing content that becomes too tiresome for me. That's a really good skill to have, Jude. Like, in in any area, having a having the skill to recognize when you're feeling burnt out, it's it's super, super useful. Um, if it says lockout shared, check Wrath. Check um, ICC. Yeah, ICC says lockout shared, which means that it's, yeah, that's it. You do it once, you pick your difficulty, you do it once in the week. That's that. Because um, that's how ICC works, and I fucking hate that, because ICC has four different fucking difficulties, and you have to pick one, and it sucks. Anyway, uh, at least if it's only got two, diff like, normal and heroic, you're fine. But when it's got normal 10, normal 25, heroic 10, and heroic 25, it's like, fuck all of you. Anyway. And none of them share fucking appearances. Z, Faden, Neke, and Zombie, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I honestly think that ICC is gonna be my like, final fucking thing to finish because it's just such a pain in the ass.
There we go. <clears throat> Despite starting in Legion, I'm determined to catch up, and you will, Kim. You absolutely will. All it takes is, like, effort and time. Like, if you are willing to put in the effort, you you get there. I firmly believe that you'll be fine. <clears throat> just make sure to have fun with it, yeah? Like, don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself and just make sure you have fun. Go through and enjoy the dungeons that you're seeing for the first time. And, and stop and go, whoa, at the, at the skyboxes or the, the unique architecture or whatever it happens to be. Like, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Mm, believe normal and heroic share a lockout for Kata. So if it's shared, that's it. One difficulty and you're done. Yep, do what Fia said to make sure. Yeah, that is that is what shared. What um, Nab described is exactly what shared means, yeah. <clears throat> I want to do some mod runs soon. Haven't done it forever. You should, Murray. Oh my god, you absolutely should. It's just so fun and chill, you know? There's no, like, expectations to rush, rush, rush. If you need to stop for a second and, and engage with chat and really talk to people, you can. You're not holding anyone up. It's just, oh, it feels so good. And then when you get the chimes, when you get the ATT happy brain juice sounds, it's just wonderful. I highly recommend it. Uh, I know you can run Firelands on both Normal and Heroic. Yes. Yes, you can. So that should... Yep, so see there? So Dragon Soul is shared. Like, Normal and Heroic are the one, but then you can do LFR differently, I believe. Firelands is per difficulty. Throne is shared. Bastion is shared. Blackwing Descent is shared. And Baron Hold is shared. Um, so there you go. There's, there's your answer. I wonder why Firelands is different. That's really interesting to me. I think... May, mm, I wonder if Dragon Soul was also per difficulty and then when they... like No, no that, that's not right. Oh, I know why Firelands is per difficulty. Firelands is per difficulty because they have time walking. When they introduce something as time walking... They fix the lockout so that it's per difficulty, so that you can do your time walking raid and go and do your normal or your heroic raid or whatever you're doing that week for transmog and shit. So that's because it, otherwise, if it was shared, then you'd go and do it as a time walking raid and you'd be locked out of the, the, the old raid for that week, which sucks. That's why that one's different. That's why that's the outlier. Hmm, I believe Firelands may be exception due to being time walking right. Exactly. That's it. That's what happened. Oh, fuck, I see. See, got invincible and noped right out of there. I got invincible and then I went back to get um uh the sword so that I could get the mount from that quest chain. Getting all the shards and shit. Um, but I haven't been back there since that was done. But it's not on my list to go do yet, so thank fuck for that. Oh, I keep ch uh, change class every couple runs and it keeps it fresh. Yes, love that. Love that. <clears throat> Actually, sure, I just do two runs for the mount. I'm missing one day. Yes, you'll get there. You'll get there. I firmly believe. If you put in the effort, it shall be rewarded. It might just feel like it sucks for a little bit before it, it happens. Make a list of raids, can't remember what sets I have. Um, so if you're looking at just actual sets, there's a list in here. Um, so you can kind of go through here and you see the ones that you haven't got. And you can see ones that are partially done, etc, etc. So if you're just looking for the achievements to get like sets done first, then that's a really good way to do it. Um, beyond that, all the things is a fantastic add-on. Um, it can definitely look a little overwhelming. Um, but if you just look at the section you're interested in, for example, dungeons and raids, and then you pick like an expansion and then you pick a single dungeon to work with uh, or single raid and then just kind of go from there. Um, if you look at it tighter, then it'll, uh, it's a lot less overwhelming. Uh, speak your throne. Throne, yes! 
I has a wish list. I feel like I feel like I should put more stuff on it because my birthday's coming up. Well done. <laughs> like, but also that feels really dirty. It's like, hi, it's my birthday, get me presents. Which is not at all how I'm you know, it's yeah, I don't know, I feel weird. I feel weird. Interesting. My face you can kiss my behind. 128 kills in. Oh my god. I got Ishak's mount. I think it was Friday I got Ishak's mount. Was it Friday or was it yesterday? I think it was Friday. I don't think I played WoW yesterday. 33 kills. It's actually just, just here. Yep. I, I nearly shat my pants when I saw it. Uh, but I haven't, like, Rot Feaster, because it's only up, you know, half a week every two weeks or whatever it is, I haven't had much of a chance to actually clock up numbers on it yet. But I'll get there. I'll get there. To have a look at that. Yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. ATT is definitely a big part of the completionist community. This fucking glowing key bullshit is not, it's just not dropping. <clears throat> if it drops from the final boss, I'm gonna be like a special kind of pissed. If I don't get any, if I don't get the key and I don't get any transmog in here, I'm going to be very upset. Only rare, mount, rare kill mount I have left from 8-3. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've still got a bunch of them left. Um, but that's okay. I'm working on them and that's what matters. I'm getting there. I'm also lazy and didn't make a new add-on. Table data collector now has a new button. Brilliant. Love that. Oof, this hurts. Oh my god. So these comment there's a comment here on Wowhead. This is I believe this is the case. I tried hunting this item for three days, and as soon as I finished the entire Argus quest line and killed Lura, it took ten minutes to farm. So if I kill Lura, apparently that Which means I should be able to get it to drop on heroic. I know that if I don't kill this trash, though, it'll pull with the boss, and then I will absolutely, most certainly die. Might just rename it to Data Collector at this point. I've used it for so, so much for random personal things. Absolutely. I mean, if it's accurate, right? <clears throat> Where the fuck did you lot come from? <clears throat> I might have to kill Lura to be able to do this quest properly to get this to drop. <clears throat> Which means I've spent all that time killing all that trash for nothing. That's okay. Live and we learn. <clears throat> What's dinner tonight? Or is dinner if it isn't finished? It's not quite finished yet, but it's um just a jar of satay sauce from Aldi with some chicken and rice. Basic bitch, simple ass dinner tonight. Because it has been a warm day 
And we want to be a bit lazy. Uh, plus, we needed to, uh, Jas needed to cook some rice for his lunches for the week that I'm going to assemble after stream. Uh, so, two birds, one pot. But yeah, it's not finished. I've been talking too much. It's really tasty, though. Love a basic bitch dinner, so do I. And sometimes they're just so necessary as well, like, holy shit. The void calls to me. <clears throat> Made a basic bitch stir fry, fuck yeah. Basic bitch dinners for everyone. <clears throat> My death cannot stop it. Fucking relics. The void. I need how many things from these bosses and they were they give me nothing but fucking relics? Good lord. Yes, the Naru. We must get inside. Illyria, the skills you have learned can open the way. Understood. Mm. Champions, once the door is open, clear the way to me. <clears throat> be right behind you. When you said just a jar of satay sauce about to go looking for the no, I did not eat a jar of satay sauce for dinner. No. It had other bits open. with it. Hurry here. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Pork packet sauce, frozen peas, corn and carrot, and noodles. Oh, fucking A. It's just so good though, right? And you get all the all the necessary nutrients in there. Like, fuck. Why do you need to do anything extra? Love cooking up big batches of rice. So versatile. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. How many times for me Mondays is chicken curry? Leftover chicken from Sunday, jar of sauce, and some rice. Fuck yes. So good. <clears throat> Toss in some frozen veggies as well, and like you've got a whole ass goddamn meal. This one doesn't have any veggies in it. This is uh, this is like truly mon like Sunday night, just yep, yeah. epic laziness, like best kind of laziness. <clears throat> Chair is eyeing up your food. I think it's hungry. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't know about you, I would really like time walk difficulty for raids to grant some cosmetic exclusives to that difficulty. Um, it could be nice. The issue is that time walking raids are hella fucking difficult. Um, like, they they can be really, they, they're very, like, tuned to quite difficult, like, honestly, for, for your average WoW player who kind of strolls in there and didn't experience that particular raid back when it was current. They can be very, very difficult. And it also takes a good, like, five or six hours to get through the whole raid in one go. Uh, and the difficulty of trying to get a pug group to form back up for the same raid at a later date is very difficult. Um, and not everyone has a guild to run time walking with, especially the raids. So I, I get it, absolutely. But I just, I, I don't, I think it'd be not accessible to a lot of different players. Particularly collectors who are going to be the ones who want to get it, you know. Okay. <clears throat> Siphon the portal energy. The Naru's weakness mm. will become your strength. Incoming. Do you want chicken curry for dinner tomorrow? Yes. Delightful. <clears throat> Seize the power of the portals, Illyria. It can become your weapon. Incoming. Hi, the 
sun well. <clears throat> ah! Four with the resub! Much appreciated. I hope you're having a lovely day. Did I just miss it? No, there we go. Where's my crest of knowledge? Oh, I actually got a piece of transmog. Is it actually transmog or is it? It is! Hey, and it's an upgrade. That's disgusting. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Louder now, more insistent, but they do not control. Them. Okay, so we gotta go. So what have I got now? Seat of the Trumpet is twelve or thirty-eight. You to use the void as a weapon. Now that weapon is you. It seems my training is complete. What else did that share? Ahead of ourselves. All right. We need to test the limits of this newfound power. Back to Dalaran. Let's go place that thing on the thing. <clears throat> ah, chicken shizzles do great with curry sauce plus and over rice. They absolutely do. It's a katsu curry right there. Time and grades are crazy hard. They are. It's LFR but with people scaled and time limited so people have forgotten the mechanics. Yup. Uh, slice them up and it's easy mode katsu. Yes, absolutely. Ah, uh, just that there is no incentive to run that difficult content. Uh, normal raid eye level gear can be gotten in other ways. It can. Um, there is, there is incentive to run it. Um, it's to get scaled up. Uh, like it, it can gear up tunes. Like if they're fresh characters at max level, it can gear them up. Uh, it's fun. A lot of people really like the the whole big thing about time walking isn't rewards. It's not just about rewards. Yeah, you can get the badges to buy like cosmetic shit and stuff like that. In the raid, you get a shitload more badges because there are a shitload more bosses. The bosses in the raid also each still have a chance to drop the mount if you're after that. But it's it's not about upgrades. People don't run time walking for fucking upgrades. They never have. They It shouldn't. Time walking gear should not be best in slot shit. It shouldn't be. It's It's the nostalgia. People are going and running time walking raids because they want to relive the raid content at a difficulty that matters to pay attention to mechanics and stuff like that. They want to be able to go in there and go like, oh, I remember doing this mechanic and such and such person always fucked up this particular bit. Or I remember when we finally killed it because such and such finally got this mechanic right. And blah, blah. That's what they want. That's what time walking is for. That is the incentive. And people still do it. So clearly it doesn't need more of one. Um, sphere asleep. No. Uh, I want to get into WoW collecting. I don't know where to start. Um, what parts of WoW collecting, like what, why, why WoW collecting? What has made you want to get into it? Uh, BK, and welcome to chat. I hope we can help you find a starting point that's right for you. Why is it that you want to do WoW collecting? Thank you, planning keeping inside today. We have a big storm. Hoping we'll have power the whole day. I hope so too. I hope so too. Uh, okay, so Netherlight Crucible. I can infuse that with this thing. <clears throat> Blessings upon you. Uh, and then I need to turn the uh, crystal knowledge placed on Eridath, which is not there. Ah, uh, so I said cosmetics, like a reskin of the tier set or whatever. I still no, that that's the whole thing. The content is difficult enough that most collectors will be put off it. So there's no point in putting like that's not. Yeah, it's too difficult to put stuff like that. It'll go from there's no incentive to do the content to I have to, I'm being forced to do this content that I find too difficult or I'm a solo player and I want to play by myself and yet to get this old school cosmetic, I have to group up with a bunch of people and do exceptionally difficult content that's never going to get any easier. If it's stuff like, you know, Shadowlands raid gear, wait two expansions. 
but time walking gear will time walking shit will never get any easier to get you can't just wait four years and go back and do it by yourself you can't that's the whole point of time walking put the reskins on the vendors for a badge amount like it's the only appropriate way to do it for um for the for actual collectors for people who do that as the main part of their game. Um, mainly because I don't know what else to do in game. Ah, I want to play and I like taking off a checklist. I too love taking off a checklist. Um, so collectibles. What? What is the favorite part about your character at the moment that is that is collectible based? Like, is is it like you do you have an impressive pet collection, or do you really like doing battle pets? Do you do you have a favorite like a favorite mount that you fucking use everywhere and you're so happy that you have it, or a, a mount that you really want to get? Um, or are you super proud of your ability to chop and change with transmog? Like, what what parts of the game in terms of collectibles do you really find an affinity with at the moment? Like, before you even start. <clears throat> uh, same with PvP elite sets. But why, though? I don't think that we need those at all. Uh, I think you want, like, heritage raids. Old raids rescaled for normal heroic mythic current gear. Rewards a prestige item like a title or something, not a cosmetic. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's, I think doing something like a title would be more appropriate. But, um, title counts as cosmetic for me as well. But that's not what you said. You said recolors of tier sets. Titles are considered different by most of the community. Like, people won't like crack the shits over a title being unobtainable, but they will absolutely crack the shits over a, like a transmog set being unobtainable. Like, doesn't matter what your opinion is, it's the community at large. Uh, like, it doesn't count as my, my opinion doesn't matter either. Again, it's the community at large. Um, Lawmaster would be a good start. Yeah, I mean, Lawmaster is a fantastic place to, to do that kind of stuff, but it's not gonna get you a whole lot of mounts or transmog. I mean, it'll get you some transmog, um, but Mount farming is a really good place to start. Um, I would recommend checking out data for Azeroth. Uh, data for Azeroth is, excuse me, the, um, the, what's it? Website. Um, and you can upload your character. You can upload all your alts um, so that you can see all of the different mounts that you have. Uh, and then you can, there's a whole bunch of filters and sorting and stuff that you can play with to sort like the, the mount collection you both have and don't have. Uh, and then you can make some decisions about what mount you want to go hunt for. If you want to buy a whole bunch of mounts up nice and easy with what gold you have. Uh, and then you can start, you know, hunting for the more difficult ones. Uh, it's a, a really good place to start. And mount farming is something I do very regularly every Monday, in fact. Will you join our um, Complete. The there we go. So I should. Now we take the fight to the burning throne. My faith <laughs> is my shield. Ready yourselves, and Taurus awaits. I should be able to get it now, but I've only got five, like fifteen steps to go. So I think I'll just do that, um, and see if I can finish off the whole campaign, and then hope to fuck that the goddamn thing drops. Um, pets are also really easy to bump up your percentage really quick. They are, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, at risk of you feeling overwhelmed, BK, one of the... Place your hand on the stone. One of the add-ons that we use quite frequently is ATT. It stands for All The Things. It tracks literally everything in WoW. Everything. Um... So <laughs> it can be very overwhelming in, uh, to, to look at at the start and go, holy shit, I have 5% of the entire game done? Mother of fuck. 
uh, it can be very overwhelming. The very first time I installed it years ago, I, it just, every single zone, it kept telling me there's all this stuff you can go get. I was just like, fuck off. Um, but nowadays I know how to like filter it and I know how to look at what I want to do and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's also a random function, which is really nice. Um, so you can type slash ATT space random or just ATT random or one word. Um, and then you can select a category. So you get this box. You can set a category. So for example, you can select mount and it'll tell you to go farm the Fellblaze Infernal. I would recommend not starting there, um, but you can reroll and you can go and get the uh, KSM mount or you can get a fucking PVP mount or you can get a uh, quarter night revered mount. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck, it'll be a lot easier for you. All mine are fucking bullshit difficult now because I have too many mounts. Uh, <laughs> but you can kind of cycle through that. There's a whole bunch of different categories, dungeons and raids and stuff. If you want to expand into transmog, but that kind of narrows your search down a little bit so that you don't get overwhelmed by literally fucking everything. Um, because there's a lot of shit in this game. I remember the a lot of shit in this game. How life uh, mostly just Lawmaster checking off the list. But yeah, Lawmaster is fantastic for that checking off the list thing. And you- Ah! Jared! And Mads, hello! Welcome! Where am I going? The Vindica, okay. Alright. Welcome. How is your stream? How are you both? I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, yeah, so, um, Lawmaster is a fantastic check the box kind of exercise, and it'll also get you a shitload of achievement points as well. Like, a shitload of achievement points. Crystal. Except to reinforce that Change the the same time. You need to unlock what's available and accept this quest from him. What? Wait! I don't want to wait! Why do I have to wait? <gasps> I disagree. I can't reinforce lights purchase. I must be finished then. Okay, let's go do um, thingy on heroic and see if it drops me my goddamn fucking quest item. Anyway, everything is awesome. Time for heroic seat. Time for heroic seat. Go. If nothing drops, I'm going to be, like, devastated. Oh, God. It better fucking drop, because you know what's next on my list? Seat of the Triumvirate on a hunter. You know, the other mail wearer. Mother of God. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, uh, fucking Echo. Ah, uh, hang on a second. Interesting. So, Tip, you're very welcome. Downloaded it yesterday. Don't know where to start. Yeah, um, Randomizer is a great place to start. You can pick a category. You can even pick the whole thing, and it'll pick one thing for you to focus on. Be aware that that one thing can be an entire expansion. I would advise you re-rolling if that happens. Just saying. But, um, yeah, it, it's it's fun. We call it Coas Mode, because we were calling it Chaos Mode, and then I accidentally did a typo, uh, and now it's Forever Coas. Um, I'm guessing you never bothered to do a vowed rep. Um, not, not consistently, no. Um, I have done bits and pieces of it here and there, but nothing like super solid, not yet. Um, hello Candy, welcome on in. Did you try and get KSM this season? Yep. I'm, look, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Um, the problem is I don't have a lot of time to to do shit outside of stream. Like, I just don't. Um, sometimes people have higher priorities in life. Like running a fucking business. Uh, but I'm at like 1911, I think. I'm really goddamn close. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get somewhere, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, thank you for the cast to come on. Hello, Yuri. Hello, Jared. Good, we play the Pokemans. I know. I know. Uh, any add-ons for tracking Lawmaster? Uh, you don't really need add-ons to track it. Um, you can just go to a zone and do the quests. Um, you can turn on, like, if you track... Oh my god, stop it. 
Um, if you, fuck, if you track, um, low-level quests, I think it's, yeah, Trivial Quests, it's the one here, Trivial Quests, uh, if you track that on your minimap, they'll show up even if they're too low-level for you, the, the quests, so you'll be able to see them, go over to them, pick them up, do them, um, and quest hubs for old content are very, very obvious, uh, like, they're, you know, like, towns and stuff like that, um, it's pretty easy to do, um, a lot easier than back when I did it, that's for sure, <laughs> um, uh, if you have a guide add-on like Zygor as well, that can make it a hell of a lot faster. Uh, but there is a, a cost associated with the guides. The add-on itself is free, but the the guides, um, the extra guides, cost money. the the base The base thing, the free the free add-on, comes with a bunch of um, guides. But to get more of them, you got to pay for them. Um. So that's kind of, you know, whether or not it's worth it to you is going to be a very personal decision. Um, let me come up my lungs as usual. Hopefully see my doctor tomorrow to get some antibiotics. Yes! She really does it. Uh, ATT doesn't, uh, ATT can track quests, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't tell you, like, where to go and stuff. But yeah, there is an option in ATT to track quests. Congratulations to Gruben, Puma, Zam, Zem, V, Z, Koala, and Totti on all your bonus shit. Handy notes says Lawmaster plugin. They go. Coas, indeed. I'm working on it. Soz. I'm, uh, yeah, look, I'm a bit behind on some stuff. Uh, I think KSM is a lot easier this season than last season, even though it needs to be done over at least two weeks. ATT actually kind of can. Yeah, it tracks quests, but not like. Not like Zygor does. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Uh, Zygor Fuller Master has been amazing. Still have 50% ice crown to do, and I'm done, and there's no head fucking around. Um, just go here, do things, bam, done. See, if you alt click an ATT and have Tom Tom, it can give coordinates for some stuff. It can, yeah. It can definitely give coordinates for some stuff. Uh, it will not make you the most optimized path. <laughs> you will find yourself flitting back and forth across the whole zone. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, it's free. It's free. Step closer and don't mumble. Not everything in the ocean. Mm, I think it's the easiest season measure the first time ever this week. Well done. Well done. really hope I get this drop. I'm not doing it on another tune. If it doesn't drop and I don't get the ensemble, then fuck it. I'm just switching to the hunters and doing my best on that side. <clears throat> KSM had better be easier this season. They've been progressively nerfing the dungeons since badge 9.1 hit. They have, yeah. They have, absolutely. 
One thing I think a lot of people do not even consider with collecting the sheer number of how many BOEs, greens, blues, etc. Which is why I'm focusing on dungeons and raids specifically, not world drops and shit. I figure if I can get every single, for example, classic dungeon and raid to 100% across 12 classes, whatever BOEs are left, I'll fucking buy them from the AH. <laughs> like, fuck that shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, most of them are gonna drop as trash drops and shit like that. If there are any left at the end of that entire journey, then I'll just fucking buy them. But there's no point buying them until that point. Because they, I bet you they'll fucking drop. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, there is a large number of things in this game. It is 17 years worth of goddamn content. Like, it's a lot of stuff. Only dungeon nerfs, also our borrowed power, outscaling the dungeon, scaling increase. That happened last patch too. It happens every patch. That's why you see more and more people completing KSM the longer the season goes. Because it happens every patch. <laughs> like... It's the same reason why you see more people completing raids the longer the patch goes on. Because they get enough gear and they get enough borrowed power to push through those roadblocks that they as a group have been hitting. Like, that's how the game works. Just keep pushing and eventually you'll get enough power that you'll be fine. Like, unless, of course, you know, some groups do have other deeper issues that are preventing them from getting kills, but that's, you know. Yeah. One thing I wish Blizzard would fix, it seems like a bug IMO, but the double drops of same item in Dungeons Raids, it's not a bug. It's not a bug because, you know, uh, you, can, you could have two or three mages in a dungeon group. and Or, or in a raid especially, you're going to have double ups of certain classes and stuff, and they both want that item, so why shouldn't they both get it? It's definitely not a bug. It's been happening since fucking, well, BC. I don't know, but I'm sure it probably happened in vanilla as well, but I've only started playing since BC, so I can't speak to what happened in vanilla. <clears throat> uh, I meant between season one and season two difficulty dungeons has increased, not enough to compensate. Uh, I doubt that. It was too difficult, which is why they've keep like they've been progressively nerfed. What Jazz said earlier, Nab, was that the dungeons have been progressively nerfed constantly every couple of weeks there's another fucking nerf to dungeons throughout the entirety of patch 9.1 because they were too difficult to begin with the scaling on mythic was too much and so they've nerfed it right through this whole patch um uh, i mean once legacy loot is after still not a bug um all legacy loot does is instead of getting one of the potential item drops you get everything that would have dropped for the entire group all to one person or two people however many people are there the same exact pieces of loot are going to drop which includes possible duplicates they're all just going to one person they didn't change any of the coding in terms of how the loot dropped it's just where it went that's the only part they changed definitely not a bug Annoying, yes. A bug, no. Oh uh, yeah, the base dungeons weren't hard enough to make getting KSM a difficult task, and it should be difficult. KSM should be hard. Uh, why would you expect the same thing to happen in 9-2? They had to progressively nerf a bunch of the bosses because we lost the OP damage healing buff from last season. Yep. Yep. We got a bunch of the anima powers and stuff, but they weren't as strong as the last season's affix. Uh, Mots is also getting nerfed again for 9-2. There you go. The first few packs of pain in the ass was needed. Agreed. When Jas told me about it, I was like, oh, yeah, good. <laughs> 
Makes sense. Damn right, tanks have been copying a beating the whole expansion. Yep. Okay, so Zural's done. Vix has not spawned. On to Seprish. Champions, over here. Follow me. No glowing cave fragment. I'm gonna go through and kill all the bosses and then like run back and kill the trash if it doesn't drop. Ah, uh, then add in that double Lego is coming and those dungeons become nothing. Nah, they'll that'll scale. That's the whole thing with Mythic Plus is that it gets more difficult as it goes along. So like you maybe you'll only be able to get to a six and then you get your second legendary and all of a sudden you can get through the six and the seven and the eight and then you get kind of stuck at a nine. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it'll boost you through, but it still takes more than just that to be able to do like your 15s and your 20s. It's their job, Jazz. Just... Hey man, getting half health by those dudes always sucked. Put two of them in a pack and you're in for a bad time. Oh yeah, they, yeah, absolutely. Greetings. It was like the hardest pulls of the entire fucking dungeon and they're right at the start and then the rest of it's a fucking breeze comparatively. Figure out their motives. Kind of hard to get KSM, so if you get Faceless Title in 8.3, it's now just not as hard. I suspect that the power from Anima from the Affix was the thing which made the difference. No, because you had affixes last season as well, Kaz. And in fact, the affixes last season were stronger in terms of actual power that they granted to players. Keep this in mind. It might not be that the dungeons are getting easier. It may well be that you as a player are getting better. Can we just put that out there as well? Not everything being easier is a result of nerfs. Sometimes it's players improving. Sometimes it's players getting better at weaving in their covenant abilities. Sometimes it's players getting better at timing their trinkets or, uh, you know, making good, like proper use, intended use of their of the legendaries that they've chosen to use. Stuff like that. Like that is absolutely a fucking possibility. We Don't count yourselves out. Bring in more forces from the void to Just deal with intruders. <clears throat> uh, because we have done legendaries, a tier set, unless the scaling increase compensates for that. I feel that 15s will be easier than even in season two. Of course the scaling will compensate for that. They've they are delaying the getting of the second legendary so that it doesn't affect the world first mythic race. Do you think they'd be fucking stupid enough to not scale the dungeons for, like, if they're putting that much goddamn thought into it, why the hell would they not think about scaling Mythic? Like I said, most people will probably find themselves at a roadblock. Maybe it won't be at a 6, maybe it'll be at a 10. They cannot seem to do a fucking 11. They just cannot seem to do it. They can't get through it properly. They don't have the power to do it. And then bam, they get the double legendary and they're pushing 13s like it's nothing. And then it takes them the double legendary plus their skill to get a 15 done. And then it takes exceptional skill to get to the 20s. That's fucking how it's meant to work. Your gear will only ever take you so far, but that is how it is supposed to work. Like, <laughs> of course they're gonna, of course it's gonna scale for that. It's the whole keystone of, a f of fucking 9-2 is the fact that we're gonna be able to wear two legendaries. Why would that not be taken into account? Good lord. I feel like everyone just thinks the devs are fucking arsats, like they've just got their heads up their asses or buried in the ground. They don't. They know what they're doing. Sometimes they do something and it has unintended consequences and they go, oh fuck, we need to fix that. That wasn't what we meant to do. Or, hmm, it is working how we meant, but it's also doing some other things we didn't anticipate. And so they fix that shit. But like, good lord. <laughs> Good lord. <sighs> I would rather there be four dungeons or one dungeon per zone on release with two to three new patches than having the same ten dungeons for an entire three years. That's fair. Um, but not everyone does, like, dungeons that much. It's, um, a very, very small portion of the player base pounds those dungeons like nobody's business. But also only having like four or five dungeons right at the start. 
makes pre-raid gearing exceptionally difficult because it means that those bosses have to have much larger loot tables to have all the different pieces for all 12 classes in all the different slots plus a couple of options depending on your playstyle and stuff like it's and the bigger the the larger the um um ah neck thank you so much for the resub much appreciated um what's the saying Right, so having that many different items needing to drop across all the bosses means that each individual boss's loot table gets bigger, which means the chance of getting a particular item gets smaller. And if you've ever tried to get a fucking IQD, you know that you don't want the loot tables to get bigger. <laughs> you do not want your chance of getting that fucking piece to be smaller than it already bloody well is. There is a reason why they tend to have around eight dungeons. Like, it's, it's math. Math is wonderful. I fucking love math. Mm, I just thought it was hard. For some people. For some people, yeah. Uh, the new initial patch is boring as hell and people complain. Understandable, guess what? Cotton droughts are already causing people to complain. Yeah, people are going to complain no fucking matter what. And I think that having the larger number of dungeons works better for the game in general. Um... Why are there double ups of the boss? Why are there two of them? What the fuck? Is there actually, or? Oh my God, I think there are. My will not be interrupted. I can't tell if they've just duplicated the nameplate or if there's two of them. Oh my God, I think, are there? I can't see either, good Lord. It's fine. I think there are a double of them because there seem to be more of those circles. But they're all sharing the things anyway, so it's fine. Does this mean I'm going to get twice as much loot? Oh, you little fucker. Come here. There's two of them. Look, there's two weapons. Thank you for removing and the obstacles between me and this staff, heroes. Yes, this will do nicely. You'll find their viceroy near the entrance to the temple, feebly trying to break in. I'm pretty sure I just got two pieces of loot and I'm not supposed to. to get in ourselves. I do not think I was supposed to get two pieces of light there. To opening the way once he's taken care of. I am confused. What have I done? Have I, guys, have I broken the game? What the fuck? Okay, so you're a transmog now, right? No, I, I am not for it. I am not a, ah! Yes! All right. Um. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Uh, I am not a transmog nerd. Not in the fucking slightest. I am a math nerd. I am a get all the things nerd. I am a make the number go up to a hundred nerd. Um, I have one set that I use on Fear and none of my other alts. I've got 50 characters. Fear is the only one I transmog. I am not a transmog nerd. I just like collecting shit. <laughs> sorry to disappoint. I'm very sorry to disappoint. I have never, that's a lie. I have once participated in a trial of style. I lost. Yes. I don't know how much just pieces of my stuff, tattoos on them. Does a cloth plate version exist? No idea. I cannot tell you the answer to that. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, what you can do is um, you can jump to the item on Wowhead um, and you can see if anything, whatever, like shares its appearance, but you can also see things that look similar um, according to their algorithm or whatever. So there is a chance that you can actually have a look and see if there is something similar for, for cloth. Uh, or plate, but I cannot tell you the answer to that. I'm very sorry. Uh, well, I've always had content droughts. We're halfway through the expansion. That's pretty normal. Content drought in weeks three to four is really bad. Uh, just back in the day, it took months to level. Indeed. I guess they would be. 
found it very hard, uh, but then I was and are still a casual, so I was doing it solo, only in gear from Visions and Emissary caches. 8.3 content was significantly easier than anything this entire X pack so far. Fear made a pun, did I? Oops. Or did I do it on purpose? I don't remember. Uh, and that's me speaking as someone who didn't have a clue really in 8.3. Indeed. 16 months, Nick. I cannot believe. That's amazing. I thought it wasn't trivial content. A lot easier to run 15s in that patch than in previous patches. 8.3 was good fun. 3 TDs in my pally was crazy power. Playing TBC Classic. Fantastic. I hope you're enjoying it, Neck. That's wonderful news. Math sounds like witchcraft to me. I mean, it is a little bit. There's two of them. This is getting out of hand now. There are two of them. Exactly. Exactly. We will win. But as a reward for defeating two of them. And it was it's funny because it was two of the main boss, two of one of his ads, but then one of the other ad. It was like fucking what? Be on your guard. What? Find the blacksmith gall. So I need to go to Crow Cool. Crow Cool Hovel. Ah, uh, bug report time. Yeah. I was making up for you not getting the glowy thing yet. Look, maybe. But I got it now because fuck yeah. Um, the broken blacksmith. I should probably go to Crow Cool Hovel down here. Ah, uh, I was gonna ask that. Did you break the game? Probs. Probs. I greet you. Oh, fuck. Take caution. Do I have what is this? Is this um virate? What is the quest called? Armor of the Triumvirate. No, there's no guide for this one. That's okay. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta go to place for these. So that's uh, Conservatory of the Arcane. Um. That's how our works with secondary stats, scaling, borrowed power, fist of breaking our game. Exploit! Uh, I just think there hadn't been two more bosses, you had to kill a hundred more mobs. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Uh, potentially. The heck is a trial of style? Um, it's a thing that happens like every fucking, I think it's like six months or something ridiculous. Uh, it's like a micro holiday thing. Um, where you com it's competitive transmog. Basically. And you can get tokens from trial of style when you win. And you can use those tokens to buy cosmetics. Yeah, it's a thing. Never played before, came to see what the game is like. Hello, Bean. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, this is, of course, just one aspect of one one of many aspects of WoW. This is the collection side of things. This is this is completionist. This is I want all the pretty things. So if you're a person who likes Steam achievements, if you like doing uh, trophies on PlayStation or achievements on Xbox, all that kind of stuff. Um, or like, you know, ev finding every hidden thing in Fable or doing every last little bit of Zelda, all the different um, secrets and stuff like that. This is the, this is the same thing, except in WoW. Um, collecting uh, cosmetics and doing all the stuff. Doing all the stuff that is not necessarily like main gameplay aspects. Uh, I like it. It's fun. But not everyone enjoys this aspect of the game, and that's okay. There are so many different sides to WoW. So, like, so, so many different sides to WoW, and, and there is no wrong way to play it. Um, the only wrong way to play WoW is um, shitting on other people's enjoyment. That's it. Only wrong way. Um, yeah. Uh, just about having a new coach, and going to get judged by peers. Yep. I am not good at it. Mm. Keystone, we're talking about chaos. Sound. Ah, right, yeah. I get it, I get it. Brilliant, thank you, Apathy. Any pointers for if I was to start playing this game? Have fun. Um, my, my big pointer is to find, like, to, to enjoy it at your own pace. Don't feel like you need to know everything there is to know about the game right as you start playing. This is, this game has 17 years. One seven. 17 years worth of content. 
Shit has changed countless times over the years. Um, the, your best bet is to jump in, is to have a read of the, the class descriptions as you're creating a character. Have a read of the class, the, the race descriptions as you're creating a character, and pick things that speak to you. Pick things that sound like fun or sound interesting. And then just play. Explore. Do the quests. Um, try to do it by yourself for the most part. Um, because the like if you get carried through by a handful of friends who are super powered compared to your little baby tune, then like you're never gonna learn how to play at the level that you like. So the game is really good at introducing new abilities to you at a certain pace so that you can learn where they slot into your rotation so that you can learn where each button slots into your rotation as you go um, and then once you get to max level that's when you can start sort of exploring the end game and when you can kind of recruit people to help you along like friends to, to kind of help you with, with, with bits and pieces if you can find people who will answer your question with no extraneous shit, just answering the specific question and that's it. That's a really good friend to be able to find. Um, because like, you know, it's like, oh, what what's what's a raid? Where do I where do I do a raid? It's like, okay, to do your first raid, you're looking at LFR, which you can access through here. You need an item level of blah to be able to queue for it. To get to that item level, we can do some dungeons. That's all you really need to know when you're starting out about raiding, and then you can learn about individual bosses and stuff as you go along, whereas someone might be, oh, raiding is awesome, there are four different difficulties, it's LFR and normal and heroic and mythic, and these are the bosses, and this one does this, and you've got to have tanks, and this many tanks, and this many healers, and this many... You don't need to know any of that bullshit as a new player, you just, like, you need to know what you need to know in that moment, and finding someone who can give you just those answers, because information overload is real, and the last thing I would want for you as a new player is to become overwhelmed with the amount of information you're taking in. Because if you feel like you can't remember all of it, you might feel like you're failing, um, or you might just be like, I can't even think, I don't even know what I'm doing, this is just too much, and then you just kind of, you know, step away with your hands up and never come back to it because it's just too much. It's it's real, it's not, it's not too much. The game is pretty, like, you know, we've got dozens and dozens and hundreds and thousands of whatever people who are playing it quite comfortably, but we've picked up all this information slowly as it's come out. So yeah, big advice would be to just take it slow. Learn at your own pace and discover things as they come to you in game. You don't need to know all about all your options at end game until you get to end game. And you don't need to rush to end game. There is no hurry. You can, you can take your time, enjoy your leveling experience, learn how to play your class as you go, learn how to use each of the abilities as they unlock, and just marvel in this, this created world that is inhabited by thousands of people. And have fun. Number one most important thing is to have fun. Because you know what? It's a fucking game. It's a video game. They're designed for fun having. I hope that's not too much. <laughs> I'm really, really passionate about new players and, and the experience that they have, and I want to make sure that people can have as wonderful an experience as I've had playing the game. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm pretty passionate about it. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry if I've, if I'm too evangelical. Um, I need to go to Argus and grind out rep. Yes, Shadow, you can do this. But it was deliberate. It probably was, or maybe not. I don't know. Look, I'm not going to give myself too much credit. Let's just go with that. Hankering for the Lunar Festival to start. We're doing that on Wednesday. We're gonna do the Elders Tour on Wednesday. In case anyone is interested in that. Uh, gotta go, no worries, Nab, we'll see you next time. Ubisoft sandboxes haven't completely bored you to death. You have the stubbornness to do our collecting. <laughs> Yeah, so I collect all the mounts and minions and stuff in Final Fantasy. I heard people came from WoW to 14 and wanted to see what the other side of the coin was. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is a free trial up to level 20. It's not as expansive as Final Fantasy's free trial. I know that much. But that's okay. It still gives you a decent taste of the game. But yeah, having, having fun with it is like priority number one. <laughs> No, extreme. Okay, give me a minute. 
Um, also with that people trolling you if you're a noob. Yeah, look, newcomers chat is pretty okay. There are a few dickheads in there, but most of the dickheads I've come across have actually been newcomers um, rather than the guides in newcomer chat. So that's fun. Uh, Raid is like dungeon, but with more people to blame. Yeah. Basically. And more people means that you have more space to fuck up because other people can cover for you. Well, that could be super overwhelming sometimes. It absolutely can. There's just so much info, uh, which is why, like, when people ask me a question, I tend to try to answer just the question they've asked rather than going on a ranty ramble. Because um, I don't want to overwhelm them. I don't want to scare them away from something I love, you know? Feel free to stick around here and ask questions. Absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly with Kay. This is a, like, I've, I've, as intentionally as I could have, have grown this community to be welcoming to everyone. Um, so if you have questions, even if you think they're stupid questions, trust me, they're not. Every single one of us had to ask that question at some point. Um, even if it was 15 years ago, I've just, I've just hit my 15th anniversary of playing WoW. So, like, every single question you could possibly think of, I have had to ask at some point or other. Because otherwise, how would I know the answer? You won't know if you don't ask. So, yeah, by all means, happy to help. And most people in the community are also really happy to help. There's a Discord, too. Also, if in doubt, just run on in and hit something. Uh, play how you want to play. Yes, I love fun having. Fun having is the bestest. Just saying. Uh, I like fun. The song We Are Young gets stuck in my head all the time. You? Stop it. Oh my god, is it really that time already? Holy fuck. My god. I spent so much time doing this goddamn question. Light and shadow are both means to them. This is not what I had in mind for today's stream. Let's just put it that way. But I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm really glad I'm doing it because I'll never have to do it again. And that feels really good. Well, never have to do it again on a male wearer. Uh, at least Lunar Festival Elders isn't a daily thing before Lunar... Yeah, no, agreed. Agreed. I do want to try to get all of the... Um, what's it called? I want to get all of the trans, like all the cosmetics from Lunar Festival. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to manage that, um, but I'm going to do my darn bestest. That is for shiz. Um, did you know typing slash camp in where our places can't find in front of you? Amazing, right? <laughs> uh, if you see a lever or a button in a rage, you should probably not press it. That is really good advice. Really good advice. All right, both of these are ready to turn in. I think they're both at the. Na, 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 na. Mm. Except the big red button that says, do not press this button. You should definitely press that button. Oh my god. For the newbie, if they're still around, remember what happens in Golcha. It stays in Golcha. Oh my god. Oh, don't scare the poor person. Good lord. No pull the lever. But it's just such a big, shiny red button. It is. It is. If something says do not press this button, potentially ask the community what it does if you do push it, and then we can help. Yeah? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Congratulations to Fade, Zam, Draz, Zem, K, and Dunno on your bonus shit. Well done. Um, oh, thanks, I forgot about Lunar Festival. Gonna go do all the elders on my pacifist. She's almost 58 and a half now. Amazing. Gonna hit 59 for sure with that. Nice, indeed. Nice, indeed. Um, I have, there was someone asking the other day, I can't remember who it was, but someone was asking about whether the elders are not as good XP as the other, um, the other holidays, because apparently they'd read that somewhere, and I'm not sure where that info has come from, but there is a potential that they're not as good for XP. Um, as the other, like, the bonfires and buckets and stuff. But, I mean, hey, even less is still some, right? 
Legion Hunter quest line, you gotta press a big red button. That's all I know of. Beautiful. Love that. It? Okay, so we complete this one. Complete this one. Watch as Gaal reforges the armory key. Limbs for the limb cord. Uh, it was me. Ah, where well, I had comments say it's not as good, but we're going to find out this week. Fucking oath we are. Fucking oath we are. I think I'm going to do it on, like, my um, death knight. Massive any XP out of daily fishing cooking is a huge bonus. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, Mimron and Uldua. Yars. We will not fall. Farewell. Guys, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. It's done. I'm doing it. We're going in. We're gonna get the thing. Oh my god, you guys. Look, see, there's a question mark. It means I'm on the quest. <laughs> Was it worth it? Good fucking question. Good fucking question. I am gonna be, I'm gonna cry. The next time it says Seed of Triumvirate and it's either a plate or a leather wearer, I am going to cry. Cry. Tears. Out of my face. Because this fucking sucked. Let me confer with my sources. No. no. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Not worth. But no, it will absolutely be worth because I never have to do this again on a male wearer. But like. You know, uh, I will do it on a level 40 and level 30. Report my findings in Discord if anyone wants to level that way. Amazing. Does murdering robots still count as being a pacifist? Probs not. Probs not. No, they go. If it ticks a box, it's worth it. <sighs> Look, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But can confirm, you need to kill Lura. You need to kill Lura to be able to get that fucking thing to drop. Not just access, not just the, the quest to kill Lura, actually do the quest to kill, like actually do it. Here we go, armory seal breaking. Pop. Oh right, shit, I forgot about this one. I was just one shot on Fea, so. At least it's on heroic and not on mythic. It could be worse. It again. Oh well. Oh, thank fuck for that. All right, where's the box? And now I have to defeat Lura. Okay, thank God I didn't actually finish the dungeon before coming back. Okay. Let's go. Uh, now you know you don't need to kill all the trash until after you've killed the quest. Yeah. Yep. Run through, defeat Lura, kill the trash, go to the rest of it, come back on the other difficulty, go through, kill Lura. Yep. I'm so excited. This number is gonna sky is gonna jump so much. Oh my god. And then I can jump onto the hunter because it now says that seat of the triumvirate on my hunter is the next one to do, is the next lowest, but it's not because I'll have the set, I'll have the ensemble, so that number is going to skyrocket too. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. I just, I wonder what the next one will be after seat. 
if it's a if it's if it's seat on a different armor type, I'm just gonna I'm gonna scream and cry and just be sad for a bit. I have to kill all this trash because otherwise they'll pull with the boss and that will be sucky and painful. <clears throat> Oh my god, what if my lowest percentage jumps to 24? How exciting would that be? I don't think it'll jump that quickly, but it could. Because it's at 23.68 it's at, at the moment. It could jump to 24, but I don't, I don't think that it will. But we'll find out. Big cathedral again. It, oh, why would you? Why? Apathy. Why the fuck would you say that? <laughs> why? Oh. Oh. It'd be fine. It'd be totally fine if that happened. Why would you think anything otherwise? Like, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Plate. Fucking seat plate. Yeah, it'll be seat plate, seat leather, or cathedral. That's exactly what it's gonna be, and I'm gonna fucking be unhappy. <clears throat> or underbog! <laughs> or underbog. Fuck. Underbog is okay. I'm I'm okay with Underbog now. It just it gave me the shits because it wasn't giving me what I needed. But Underbog the dungeon is fine. The ones that are like heroic and mythic only dungeons, you can only do them twice in a day. Those are the, those are the ones that really irk me because I just I just want to like bash my head against it till it's done. If it's a raid, at least it takes me a while. It still and it makes me feel like I'm making progress. You know, I just let me bash my head against something. Okay, let me just do it until I, I'm happy with its doneness. Okay? Like, fuck. <laughs> Duh. I am a special kind of person. <laughs> okay. Cleared, so we won't pull anything with him. The boy. <clears throat> I was able to interrupt that last time. That's really odd. Why is heroic harder than mythic? What the fuck is going on? <clears throat> no, the darkness was to be mine. No upgrade. No upgrade. No transmog. Despair emanating from within. Laura. A dungeon with such a huge, like a decently sized loot table for a goddamn dungeon. Yes. It just nothing will drop what I need it to. You must get inside. <sighs> it's fine. Valeria, the it's fine. Open the way. Ooh, so I think if that's rank two, does that mean that I need rank one for it to be able to drop? Champions, once Maybe. the door is open, clear the way to Lura. We will be right behind you. I guess we'll find out one day. The way is open. Hurry, heroes. <clears throat> mm -mm. 
Such chaos, such anguish. I have never sensed anything like it before. It is rare that a Naru falls into void this way. The few cases I know of have occurred when mortals were involved. What? Cinnamon, sugar, and milk. Yum. Mm. Such musing. Cinnamon milkshake. This Delicious. Entity must die. This entity must die. Shadow for your own, Illyria. Do as I trained you. Incoming! Much better. No, fucking double relic. Alright, where do I turn this in? The voices are louder now. More oh. insistent. But they do not be fastest. control me. Oh, I'm so excited to see what this number jumps to. Holy hell. Larger. Where's my manage poll? New poll. What do you think is next? Seat plate. Seat leather. Cathedral. And you can have three minutes to vote. No prizes, just for shits and giggles. What do we think? Four four fifty XP is rested for one elder. Interesting. There you go. I don't know how much that is, like relative. And also, you you like the other thing is though those quests tend to scale. So depending on what level you are, you'll get more experience. I remember when I was doing the bonfires. Um, no buckets. I was doing buckets. When I was doing the buckets, um, when I dinged, the amount of XP I got from each bucket went up. So it it depends on what level you are as well. Because everything fucking scales in the old world now. Maybe it stopped scaling at 50. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Bit of a cathedral. And hey, hello, Exo. Some comedians in the poll. Just remember, it's the cinnamon toast crunch I ate. Yeah, that too. That sounds tasty. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah. So, I mean, it could stop scaling. Like, when I was doing all that, I was mostly under 40, so I don't know if it, like, you know, it could change a lot. The Legion will pay. Yes! 30 out of 38. Jumping from 12 to 30. Out of fucking 38, 78.95% completion. All right, I'm going to jump onto the hunter and update that number because obviously the one that's in there is now wrong because they share those appearances. And I think by then the poll will probably be finito. Uh, but until then, I have a hydrate. Another hydrate. Another hydrate. Another hydrate. Hydrate. Correct. Um, I have a feeling it stops scaling at 51. That's probably a, 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 like, that's a very logical place for it to stop scaling. Hey, that just wiped out all the other stuff from the other bosses as well. No fucking wonder it counts for so much. It shares an appearance with half the fucking dungeon. Good lord. Okay, sure. 
Um, before I do those ones, I do have a voice modifier as well, so we're going to do that. Fuck. I always scroll too far down now because I have more characters than I remember. Haha. <laughs> Excuse me. 1850 at 27. Okay, not bad, not bad. How many 50s? 50. Full account. 30 horde, 20 alliance on two different servers. Cathedral, half of you think it's gonna be cathedral. Okay. G-Hub, what are you doing? I chose the Yeti and now it's just black screen. How many 60s? Four. But why so many is what I'm asking. Um, oh, right. You said so many 50s, question mark, not how many 50s. I'm so sorry, Vamps. I totally misread that. I fucked up. Uh, heartbreak amount. Love is in the air. 50 attempts per day for 15 days is 750 attempts. It is the maximum number I can have without by paying uh, for a second account. Because you have to have a tune at level 50 or higher for it to have a chance of dropping. That's where. So you get them out. Uh, I'd really like to. I have 850 attempts on the board um, currently. Yeah, G-Hub has just died. So let me... Um, let me relaunch that, see if that helps. Um, so yeah, I've got 850 attempts on the board so far. I'll be able to get another 750 this year. That's still only 1,600 attempts. And the mount is a one in 3,333 drop chance. So I'm not even halfway. But I mean, I've been lucky before. I could be lucky again. So yeah, it's just my trying to um, get as many as possible attempts in. Uh, For the alliance. Do, 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 do. For the alliance indeed. Um, let's pop that timer on, shall we? Timer on. Please and thank you. There we go. Good. I have another hydrate. Uh, I'm thinking about coming back to WoW to level a couple of alliance to 60. Is it faster to level now? Yes. Regardless of what level range you're asking about, yes, it is faster to level. Ah, lions. Good evening there. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Combination of the squish and the buff to threads make it really quick. Uh, I swear when I left for walk this afternoon, you were standing in this exact spot on your DK. This is the garrison, so probably. They're all in my garrison. They, they all they all sit in their garrisons. Um, as home in before what happened to your voice. Yeah. Uh, Infinite Time Reaver was a huge pain in the butt for me. I got that done. Uh, I think it was while I was leveling something, somewhere, somehow. Um, but I got it. It dropped on my rogue, I think. I think it was my rogue. My rogue is my luckiest tune when it comes to mount drops. She's had most of my mount drops. Almost, like, 40, 30 to 40% of them. And I've got a lot of characters, so that's a pretty high chance for them to drop on that one fucking tune. Um, okay. Legion. Seat of the Triumvirate. It's 30 out of 38. The new dungeon is... You're all fucking... Well, we're all fucking wrong. It's end time! <laughs> Yay! Mm. Good. Good. It's end time on a paladin. So let's go check if that's actually correct, because I know I've run a plate where I threw end time recently, so that could be wrong. Uh, this one. Uh, actually, just thought you might not have accessed the Threads of Fate yet. 50 to 60 isn't that long anyway. No, 50 to 60 is for And it's also pretty enjoyable. I personally really quite liked it. Uh, uh, this is how I imagine my mechanome to sound. Yep, this is it's exactly right. I have to imagine this is how I hear my wife daily. Maybe that's why she stays so pissed at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, there we go. We're done. We're done. Thinking Kurumi or my gnome DK. All right, so I have a stretch. Oh. And a hydrate. You're very welcome, dupe. I hope you had fun. I was about to say, do you ever like redeem that and then like turn on the speakers for the kids? And then I realized probs not because I say fuck a lot. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> and that's okay. There's no like I'm not offended um, if you if you don't want your children hearing me. But uh, I just I thought that was kind of funny. All right, end time is five of twenty one. Nope, that's accurate. Five of twenty one is accurate. So we're doing end time. You do say fuck a lot. They do ask what game I'm playing when they see you on stream. Ah, that's really cute. That's really cute. Um, Alea, who pops her head in every so often, she's a bit busy these days, and that's totally understandable. But um, her her daughter, her eldest, um, is still like an infant, uh, and uh, Alea has told me any time that my face is on screen her daughter starts like reaching for my face and stuff and like babbling and talking to me and stuff, which is just the fucking cutest thing. My God. Um, I can, like, do you know, you know, uh, you know, you see the videos of like, of, of kids meeting like their favorite characters and stuff at like Disney and, and shit like that. I, I like, I wonder how many times Alea's child would attempt to remove my eyeballs if she met me IRL. You know when kids like reach for you and they like, yep. Wait, what am I doing? I gotta go downstairs. Ah, and then you have to explain I'm watching someone else play a game. Yeah. Does fear swear? Yes, you'll survive. This is super cute. It's the like the first time she told me. I, I swear to God, my heart just like squealed. <laughs> Probably not healthy for one of my organs to make that sound, but you know it did. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's just like the cutest thing. The cutest thing. Okay. End time. Oh, there's a quest item in here. That's helpful. Uh, at least... Yeah, this is a single difficulty raid. Uh, dungeon as well. There are like a lot of bosses, but it's a single difficulty. And there's a fucking zone drop. Yay! <clears throat> and it's heroic, so I can't I can't just run it over and over and over on normal. But I do have other I do have other paladins, so we can do that if we need to. Um Ah, Nocturnal, thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your generosity. Alright, let's bash our heads against this. Mr. Seven, who was probably five back then, named my water elemental running fast back when I resubbed for a month in 2020. That's beautiful. Wonderful. Lovely. Amazing. Do not confine yourself to linear <clears throat> All that matters. Oh, archival purposes. Ooh, okay. No. All right. So this is a... I think I have to actually pick this quest up outside. Maybe? No. No, enter the portal end time. Okay, no, I lied. It's always running fast alongside me. That's super cute. There's a little. Okay, here we go. Hello. So there's nothing here that we can do, is there? We have to actually like take the portal to the different places. Yep, okay. The undying flames are all that remain of this sacred place. Please give me a zone drop. Please give me a zone drop. Please give me a zone drop. You fucking dragon. Give peace to these lands if you are to face Murazar. You! Are you the ones responsible for what has happened here? No such luck. It's okay. Nope, that does not the one that works, which is the bubble. <laughs> okay, alright, oopsie. It's divine shield, isn't it? 
I can't do that yet because I have that silly forbearance thing. Okay, that's fine. Actual transmog! 6 out of 21. Actual transmog. There we go. Um, we're not going to take it yet. I do believe that is the the melody that I had in my head, yeah. Meanwhile, I've got a cat threatening to bat your cat. Yep, that also happens. I'm totally okay with that. I do not hold that against anyone. Fuck, I missed the dim going on. Oh, no, Perksy. That's okay. Next time. Next time. All right, there were two right down next to him. Oops. One more orb to go. Yay! Well done, perks. Well done. At least his own drop is BOE, so worst case, I can buy it. Aw, Perks, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for your generosity. Something, something, one of us. Or something, I don't know. I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> I can't believe tomorrow is the end of January, you guys. Tomorrow is the day I go through and extract my sub list to see if I can make some kind of cross stitch pattern out of it. Oh, gosh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I wonder if I'll ever actually get it stitched. We'll see, we'll see. So much to get with Lunar Festival. Yeah, I've got a fair bit myself, but one thing that I have noticed is that nothing's super expensive. There's no like items that are worth like 500 coins or something that I don't have. So I should maybe be able to actually get everything this year, maybe. But we'll, we'll see. We will absolutely see. That's all the trash in here, dead. But I'll defend this shrine with my life. Leave now, before we come to blows. I understand now. Farewell and good luck. Actual num, actual thing. Seven out of twenty-one. I'll piss off. It's just updated, and I know what my next place to go is. You going extra long tonight? Um, not, not extra long. I'm just, I'm kind of thinking I might let this battle play out and then that'll be it. Cause I'm about to finish this dungeon. So that's kind of really good timing. Cause I do have a lot, like it may not be a work day tomorrow, but I have a fuckload of work to do. Um, I'm really behind with my back end stuff. Um, and I want to get it done. Especially considering we're heading into fun filled February. Um, yeah. I had not seen by this. I did not know. You hope to what? Stop me here. Change the fate I you know not what you have done. Both of those pieces were transmog. Except some at nine of twenty-one. And, time. and then I turn in the quest to allure me. And I get another one. It's 10 out of 21. Oh, 
I may have another quest to turn in back here, but I don't think that's actually... It doesn't give me transmog, I think it's just a quest. Yeah. Try not to do that. Yeah, that's right. But hey, 10 out of 21. Out of, from, from like 6 out of 21, that's not good. Uh, not bad, rather. It's not bad. When my tunes are out with Garrison's ear with so many level 2s still. Yeah, look, it's a little... Getting them all upgraded, it's a bit of an expensive exercise, but it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so, as of now, now that I've hearthed back to the Garrison with my Paladin, the next lowest dungeon or raid is at 23.91% and it's Paladin Hydral. And I hate it. But that's fine. But that's fine. Congratulations to Draz, Dupe, Dunno, Zam, Faden, Puma, Totti, K, and Perksy on all of your bonus shit. Thank you so much to everyone today for placing units in our battles and stuff. Like, huge thanks. Much appreciates. Paladin, no. Wrong. I think Pally might actually be my lowest completion um, class. Hunter's at 54.95, 52, 58. So Paladin's at 51.64. Yeah, Paladin is my lowest completion class. 51.64 overall. I'll help you fall asleep later at least. Nah, I gotta do I gotta do food and shit. I gotta do um Um I've gotta do food prep for this week. Lunches and stuff. Fear spirit no, it's not my fucking spirit class. Go away. Um <laughs> no. wrong. Where are we going? Bum. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go here. It's going to be super fun. Because I know that a vast majority of us here have been keen on Pokemans. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to indulge. We're going to indulge. Um, alrighty. Pokemans so good. Indeed, indeed. This, I believe, we're on the wrong screen. Good, wonderful. This, I do believe, is the last time you're going to be seeing this particular image. Uh, in, in stream. You'll see it in Discord until I fix that. But uh, this is the last time you're going to see the January calendar. Uh, because we've only got one January stream left to go. Tomorrow is Mount Farm Monday and it is the 31st of January. After that we are heading into fun-filled February. Which is code for fucked up February. February is going to be fucking batshit. Fucking batshit. If you struggle to find somewhere to hang out for streams in the evening, uh, have no fear. I'll be streaming 24 out of 28 days in February. Um, a normal, like, four weeks worth of stream, I'd do 96 hours live. February, I'm doing 126-ish. 30 extra hours of stream next month. Um, so y'all best be fucking grateful. I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to be doing Love Rocket Runs, or Heartbreaker Runs, as they're now known. And, uh, I'm going to stream them all, and it's going to suck. And it better fucking drop, or I'm going to cry. But you don't want to fucking miss it. You do not want to not be here when that thing drops. So, follow on Twitch right now. It's totally free. Push that follow button and then turn on notifications so that your phone app, because you all have the Twitch app on your phone, I'm sure, um, will see, look, people doing as they're told. The, follow, the purple lights mean someone followed. Thank you. I appreciate you deeply and grateful. I'm very grateful for your follow. Um, if you turn on notifications uh, and you have the phone app on, on your phone, 
uh, it will ping you when I go live. It is ridiculously unreliable. So what I would also recommend you do is join the Discord and uh, turn on alerts for the announcements channel. I only use that channel for extraordinarily important information extraordinarily important information. So you can turn on notifications for that particular channel. And again, if you've got the Discord app on your phone, it'll ping you. It pings whenever I go live. That's the announcements channel. You can follow me on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. You can turn on notifications on Twitter. I tweet when I go live. I also tweet a bunch of other shit though. So I understand if you don't want to turn notifications on, but I would still appreciate your follow. And most importantly, follow me on Instagram. I know that sounds ridiculous and stupid. I post on my stories. When I, go, when I go live, I post a story on Instagram. So what you can do is you can follow me on Instagram and then you can turn on your notifications for me as a user, but you can turn on notifications by post type. So you can turn on notifications for just my stories. And I don't often use stories unless I'm going live. Um, but the most important thing with Instagram is that I want to go full time. I would love to be able to content create full time. I mean, I already do. I do like minimum 40 hours a week work on, on my stream on the back end and stuff. Um, but I would like to do this as my full time job. In order to do that, I need money from companies. I need sponsorships. I need paid like play, product placement and all that kind of shit. Um, and in order to do that, I need one hell of an Instagram following because Instagram is where the bucks are. It's where the money is. It's where people are willing to invest because it is a tried and true platform. Twitch is not. Uh, so if everyone would possibly be able to go over to their Instagram account and throw me a follow, I would deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate it. And if I can get my following over there to enough, I can stream more. I can make better quality streams. I can I can get products for giveaways. I can invest in stuff for giveaways. Like I can pay for giveaways myself, all that kind of shit. So um, if if you could do that, that would be, oh, it would mean everything to me. It would be very, 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 very awesome of you to do that. Um, yeah, that's kind of the places to look where I'm where I'm going live. Um, you can also check out twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama forward slash schedule. Um, it'll have all of my, because not uh, not all of my streams in February are going to be at that 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is what my streams usually are. Everything's at 4 p.m. AEST, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Fuck. Um, but in February, some of them are going to be a little bit mixed around because I'm going to be streaming on my work days. I'm going to be streaming on my days off. Everything's going to be a little bit messy. So definitely check there. And that converts it to your time zone as well, the, the schedule page. Good. Um... The rest of this week, for the for the next seven days, uh, we've got Mount Farm Monday, obviously on Monday. That's going to be a great time. Tuesday, Tuesday, there's no stream. It's a day off. Uh, one of my four days off next fucking month. Um, <laughs> Wednesday, we're going to be doing Lunar Festival. We're going to be hitting up some elders, asking them for coins, and then spending those coins on Transmog. Uh, Thursday's a day off. My second out of four days off. And then on Friday... On Friday, we are building Logu Grogu. Um, this is Lego Grogu, um, and I'm very, very excited to build him. His ears move, his fingers reticulate, um, and he's adorable. And I can't wait to build him. We're doing that on Friday. Um, I accidentally said Logu Grogu uh, in one stream, and it's stuck, so he's Logu Grogu now. Uh, and then on Saturday is my third day off for the entire month out of four. Yep. Three of them in one week, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, and then Sunday is back to this, ATT, doing some transmog fun, uh, transmog fun times. Um, yes. That is, that is the, the plan for the next, that, that's the plan for the next week. Um, so we see it in the VOD, fun-filled February, yep. Praying for you to get it first day. Oh my god, if I did, I would just cry tears of pure joy. It would be beautiful. Don't forget to, don't forget to record those times. Yeah. I did the follow. Thank you, LP. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. Oh, we'll just be waiting here at 4pm. That also works. That does work. Um, but while you're getting into the swing of things... I uh, really liked the picture from the artist the other day. It looks awesome where you went. Thank you, Fall. It was great. I, I really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I think you've been fray -yay. Look, sometimes. He adorable and feel loves him. I'm going to love him even more when he's built and not just a pile of loose Lego bricks. Logu Grogu. Yep. 
exactly. So, uh, until then, we're going to do a raid. We're going to send the love to Barry. Uh, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not subscribed or because you have not unlocked it using your Embers channel points, which are totally free, both of which are totally okay, not a problem at all if you haven't done either of those things, um, you can still copy and paste the entire message and then delete where it says Fiamma Hype. You can, like double click it to highlight the whole thing and then you can type over your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote uh, and then drop that into Barry's chat when we get there. Um, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Do not forget to follow on Twitch, join the Discord, follow on Twitter, and most importantly, follow on fucking Instagram. I hate that I'm like this, but I have to be. If I want to succeed as a content creator, I have to be shameless. I do apologize. It's it's a thing. Um, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for Mount Farm Monday. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.